every Israelite boy or girl. And God don't even get down with the swirl. They don't make that, that's, another yeah. meaning to cast in your pearls. Keep her from the swine and the dog without no curls. Yes, I am an Israelite. Gotta get my spirit right. Babylon, burning up and red. That's a key to my spirit. Burning up and red. Yes, I am an Israelite. Gotta get my spirit right. Babylon, burning up and red. That's a key to my spirit. For the king to be our offense, we a godsend, so move with caution. Christianity and make me nauseous. We show up to kill that nonsense. When it sells for the king to be our offense, we a godsend, so move with caution. <laughs> don't give a damn if you don't like me and move by emotions and tears is unlikely. When red words speak, more checks ran than Nikes. You hear what for bear we hear to set the gods free. Sons of God, plot pressure, bring forth the cause, contend, lift up the banner. We at your front door, we here to seek the answers. And if you want to war, me a scat boy, never. Hey, they already know the mission, what we came for. Feed the shit with understanding, we ain't paid for. Christian and defender retire. You said you know the Lord, you a goddamn liar. TD Jakes, Albert Tate, Mr. Raven, Charlie Dates, Tony Evans, JT Meeks, Dr. Durin Great, Prep flowing, now you coons plying. Better watch what you say, think twice, boy, you better move in caution. Christianity, it make me nauseous. We show up to kill that nonsense. When it sells for the king to be our offense, we a godsend, so move in caution. Christianity, it make me nauseous. We show up to kill that nonsense. When it sells for the king to be our offense, we a godsend, so move in caution. You are. 
on the truck Cause the captain's called the mission It's a bliss, I'm pulling up If you touch one, then you gotta touch us all Soon as Christ get the call, Babylon gotta fall It's that man's hey, okay, see I'm on the way I gotta pick up my deacon cause he about to fix their face I done came down, keep my name up out your mouth Representing all the kingdom, raised by lions in the south Man, man, what's the deal? I can't stand all the hate Boom, boom, that's my phone vibrating Cause another hater talking And it's right through the walking Pass the flyers, teach our people Yeah, this truth, you never stop it, man We got a lot of haters on us We finna bring it out Inspect the captains all around to see what we about My brothers stay around me That's how we do in the South And one thing that we live by Keep our name about your mouth Mouth, mouth, mouth. name about your mouth Don't be speaking on my bishop and my deacon rolling with either you rolling with the spirit of satan and who's waiting for the lake of fire or you're gonna go with the spirit of christ created manufactured right here in the americas don't don't slip on that this new negro that we see today was a creation When you know death and destruction is everywhere, nigga, you gon' die. Uh oh, we ain't going. Check yeah. check. Okay, DJ. Shalom, shalom. Check check. We back. We back. <laughs> Hey, shalom, shalom, brothers and sisters, most high in Christ, bless you all. It's Fix Your Face, y'all. All praises to the most high. We made it to another one, y'all. I know the week sucked, y'all. This was captivity, slavery, it's real. But guess real. what? Let it all go, all right? Let it all go. All praise to the Father. So, y'all already know I got my brother rocking with me. Officer Yahweh Saab, what's happening? Hey, shalom, shalom. You all right? Bless. Good. You're in the ready. spirit, bro. In the spirit. I see you. War. I can see the, the, the dove descending upon you. <laughs> <laughs> You're about to drop some knowledge today, y'all. Hey, man, y'all just don't be getting me, man. We get you. What you mean? We be getting you, man. Right? Right? Huh? <laughs> I got my brother AZ3 hey, shalom, in the shalom, building. Bro, Captain. Fix your face. What's happening, bro? Hey, man, you, you know what time it is. It's war. It's war. It's war. It's war, brothers and That's sisters. Right. And to my left, I got a special guest uh -oh. here tonight, uh -oh. y'all. Captain Mattathias is in the building. That's right. What's up, Cap? What's going on, Dick? I, I'm happy to be here. Man, That's listen, right. man. This is your first time on Fix Your Face, bro. Yes, sir. Tallahassee, we made it. It's big time this for us This is big right time, here. man. Showtime now, bro. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, in sir. the building. Hey, we got another special guest. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He don't come by too often, but when he comes by, it's always a pleasure. We got Captain Pa Lou. Special Lou, Lou, Lou. What's up, Hey, where the sirens at? Did it in the night. Shalom, everybody. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Fix your face. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, and y'all already know what it is. We got Officer Something Wrong with him in the building. Lahab, what's happening, bro? La Shalom. And Lahayam. <laughs> What the hell? Right out the gate, right the gate. Welcome, Goam. 
Go. <laughs> go. Home. Yes. Go. Yeah. I'm only going to be here for a short while. Oh, God. Here <laughs> we go. Because it is the Sabbath. <laughs> All right. And I, I'm here to deliver a list of demands that we have. <laughs> Carl Rithathel. Irvin. <gasps> Irvin, was that his name? That's him. All right. We're going to read off some. Carl <laughs> Rithathel. We're going to read off some. We're going to read off our list of demands that we have for the Negro. Wow. Okay. <laughs> And they go as follow. <laughs> this goyim has been really disrespectful. We're not going to put up with, not with any anti-simpletism. Uh-huh. And he is an anti-simpleton. <laughs> so, the demands are as follow. Uh-huh. All right. He is to apologize and condemn the movie, okay, from Hebrew to Negro. <laughs> Negro. He must He must dis disassociate himself with that mm-hmm. if he ever wants to dribble a basketball in this town again. So what, you an ADL representative? Bro? I am. Oh, I'm wow. I am unofficially become officially. a member, un- unofficially officially become a <laughs> member and a spokesperson. <laughs> <laughs> they don't just pass out these locks to anyone. <laughs> you gotta be a you gotta be a special type of negro. Right, there's levels. Levels. There's levels. There's levels. There's levels. There are levels. Go ahead, bro. And you too can get your locks if, <laughs> if you can be diligent. All right. So now, first we have the apology. Okay. Uh-huh. Then we have a five hundred thousand dollar donation. Made out to Geno Jenkins. Wait a minute, man. I mean to the <laughs> anti-hate causes of any nature, anything that speaks against anti-hate, he is to oh. give up the monies. Wow. Okay. 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 What else? Sensitivity training, which will be held at my compound. <laughs> <laughs> the sensitivity training where he will look at pictures of different white children. <laughs> <laughs> and he will learn to love them. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Anti simpleton training, <laughs> where he will become more sensitive to the simpleton. <laughs> okay. Oh, He's gonna meet with the ADL uh-huh. and Jewish leaders, which I have unofficially been named as spokesperson. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to meet with Joe Tootsie Roll <laughs> <laughs> to demonstrate some understanding. Tootsie Roll. He will demonstrate the understanding that he has and the love that he has for the Jewish people. Oh, my God. And if he can do these things, then he can get back to dribbling basketball and eating fried chicken with the rest of you. <laughs> Hell no. Oh, hey, man. The people Look have spoken. Here, Look here. Straight up. Fix your whole face. Hey, man. Post the demands from the general himself, That's right. man. We ain't out here moving like right. y'all, bro. Right. Talking about some demands. Man, you got to be out your mind. We gonna post the, the the list of demands from the general. You, is my reader with me? You want me to read it? Bring it out. I need you to read it like the general sure. would say it, bro. Bishop Nathaniel. In That's the house, right. Man. What's he, put, he put these out immediately after that happened too. <laughs> Hold on, bro. What the hell? <laughs> y'all no, he did sucks. that. He put them out. He put those things out immediately after what that happened. What is going on? Matthias, you you see this? You, you see you this? Not? I didn't even see it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> I ain't even see it happen. Right. <laughs> Next thing I know, the harvest. I don't know how y'all do it, man. Something going on, man. Oh. Hey, man, let's start from the top, man. Sources say. Let's go, man. Yes, sir. Sources say. Uh-huh. IUIC has delivered the Brooklyn Nets 10 items for Kyrie Irving to return to the Nets. Damn right. We got 10 demands for that behind. Right. Let's go, man. Number one, uh-huh. apologize and condemn all mo- all movies promoting Caucasians or Jews. Which That's is all right. movies, right. damn it. That's right. Condemn every last one of them. What's Bring it up. Listen, Braveheart, you got to condemn William Wallace. Yeah. Okay? I want you to condemn that passion. What's that movie? That's Mel right. Gibson. <laughs> Mel Gibson, yeah. he got Tall to go. go. Listen, the, the, the Ten Commandments Ten movie. Commandments. Condemn all them. Malibu's most, most wanted. Malibu's most wanted. I remember that with B. Rad G. You remember that? Kel? I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. All them, all bro. That. Creation at its finest. Let's go. What's next? Bro? Number two, five hundred thousand dollars to Israelite causes. Israelite causes, right. man. You gonna have to donate to the cause of Israel, the rebuilding of this nation, God's that. nation. We gotta double that. Go ahead. Number three, sensitivity training. Sensitivity training. Right. Damn it. Listen to me, all right. look. You gonna have him go? What, what, what you gonna do with the sensitivity training? What, 
what do they got Kyrie doing? Talk about what you say? <laughs> little white girl, little, little white girl. Pictures of little white. Children. Show you little white baby pictures. <laughs> cry, damn it, cry, cry. <laughs> <laughs> What's next, bro? Number four. Learn the etymology and origin of the word Semitism and Semitic, and stop trying to change it. Right. right. Stop. Try- they literally went and changed the name. They changed the definition, bro. Four hours. Right before we watched it live. Yeah. Go ahead. Number five, meet with IUIC and Israelite leaders. Mm. Mm. Fix your face. Mm. Number six, Joe Tassai must donate. That's fi- Tootsie Roll. Joe Tootsie Roll. <laughs> Joe Tassai must donate five, <laughs> five percent of all his earnings to black families. Five percent. That's hey, that ain't nothing, man. Because right. technically, they listen. All this was built on our backs. Right. We need to give That's it all right. up. Go ahead. Number seven, meet with Bishop Nathaniel. The general, come on, right? right? To demonstrate understanding. Mm, read on. Number eight, Shaquille O'Neal, Charles Barkley, and Shannon Sharp must publicly apologize for being coons and bootlickers. <laughs> Boot, that's Boot right. and bootlickers. They got to apologize licka, to licka, the licka, Israelites. Shot. Come on. Against Kyrie Irving and other black players. Come on. Number nine, ADL and SPLC must remove all propaganda from all forms of media and publicly apologize to Israelites for disseminating false information. Mm, Come on. Number 10, the NBA must have sensitivity training to stand against the unjust rhetoric against black players. Facts. Hey, and number 11, we need them to donate and support to Matthew213.com. That's right. right. I need y'all to listen to me. We ain't playing, man. We actually doing biblical Biblical movies, biblical shows, man. Donate to Matthew213.com yep. and don't forget, donate to IUIC TV. Yeah. If y'all sorry, if y'all really feel, you know what I'm saying? If you really see your, the error in your ways, gave us that BS list talking about some demands that Kyrie I already got. already right. can't be. So still got to do the demands. Guys. Straight up, bro. Straight up. Still got to do it. So, all right, check this out, man. What we see in here, give me Ciroc 27 and 3. Before we go into this, because I ain't done this in a minute, I like to open up with a script, but it's a part of what we're going over, all right? You're going to learn today. I got Sirach, it. Sirach, 27th chapter, read uh, the third verse. Watch this. The book of Sirach, chapter 27 and verse 3. Come on. Unless a man hold himself diligently in the fear of the Lord, uh-huh. his house shall soon be overthrown. Diligence, y'all. Diligence is the key in not only your household, in your walk. We must hold ourselves diligent unto the Most High God, meaning what? Stand in his laws, statutes, and commandments, regardless of what they throw at you. See, our integrity is found in the Bible. Forget all this stuff that they're talking about here in the, in the world, how you feel about this and that. Your integrity, what you stand for, your character is all founded on what? The word of God. Jesus Christ is who builds us up, who we That's believe on. Right. So we're not going to be shaken by no threats. We're not going to be shaken by what they're saying, what they're doing. We don't care what they're trying to portray. We're going to portray what's right. right. And we're going to portray what's scriptural. Okay? So it says what? Unless a man hold himself diligently in the fear of the Lord, mm-hmm. his house shall soon be overthrown. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of this brother, uh, Kyrie Irving, because he stood fast. Mm-hmm. He stood fast, and he he wouldn't let them turn him into no boot liquor. Right. He didn't let them turn him into somebody a coon who wasn't gonna stand up for what was right yeah. and speak what's biblically accurate. Mm-hmm. They wanted him to denounce that he's an Israelite. Mm-hmm. They knew exactly what he was saying when he says, "Listen, I'm not. There's no way I could be anti-Semitic if I know where I come from." Right. You know what he was saying. You wanted him to say, "I'm sorry, no, uh, I, I'm not. I'm not anti-Semitic, and I love." The Israelites, the true Jews and guys over there. Get the hell out of here. Goofy. We are not, listen, we are not bowing down. We are, right. we are not going to let you turn us into something that we not. Them days is over. Like Bishop Yahweh said, we can read now. Right. right. That's right. All right. So let's get into the first one, bro. I just, just so y'all, y'all, I know y'all seen what's going on, right? I know y'all see what, what happened. But I want y'all to hear from my man real quick. So I'm not going to stand down on anything that I believe in. I'm only going to get stronger because I'm not alone. I have a whole army around me. Okay, while we're on the topic of Run promotion. it back, run it back, run it back. Come hey, on. Turn it up in here a little bit. So 
I'm not going to stand down on anything that I believe in. I'm only going to get stronger because I'm not alone. I have a whole army around me. Now, okay, well, the, the world team. heard this. That's right. Right. And for some reason, the world thought the brother was playing. Right. <laughs> they thought the man was joking, right? <laughs> No, nah, he says he got a whole army behind him. That's right. He absolutely got a whole bu- army behind him. It wasn't no lie. It is what it is. Yep. It is what it is. What it is. I think it's a game around here. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Let's go. This is one example. Apologizing for being me Watch the end of Babylon with front row seats And I pull up with my friends just so they know it's me And we pull up anywhere, you know the smoke free And we waiting for the kingdom and we got the keys I'm screaming, can these bones live? I'm trying to help them breathe We gon' stand on that corner till the number leaves I know I'm still a target They might assassinate me like a money Keeping my mind and my soul shopping My wicked past is where I go to hardest 144 boots banging, boots cracking And I'm crackers, we do it and they use you to practice I'm just trying to pay the wages like I'm John the Baptist I'm just glad he using me to preach it to the captive What you are witnessing is the Bible coming to pass That's The right. army of God is standing up before everyone's faces That's right. My question tonight is what the hell are you doing? Right. I ain't talking about to the, to the soldiers. I ain't talking to the warriors. I'm talking to you folks that's still on the fence, still trying to figure out where you fit in in all this. Real quick, give me uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2. 2 Timothy chapter 2, give me the third verse. Yes, sir. If you believe, if this Bible is real, if you love God enough to do what he says, guess what? You're supposed to be right here. You're supposed to be right here on the front line with all of us. Go on with your brothers. Read that. 2 Timothy 3, uh, 2 and 3. The book of 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 3. Come on. Thou, for, thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus because Christ. when you pick up this plow, when you take on this plight of being called and understanding who you are, Coming into this glorious knowledge that God has chosen the children of Israel, gave them laws, statutes, and commandments, and sent his son to die for his people so that they can inherit the kingdom of heaven. Once you come into this understanding, this should light a fire underneath you to where you understand this is a war. This is an all-out battle. And if you ain't figured this out, you still straddle in the fence. You are not coming to the potential that you're supposed to be brought unto. Read it one more time. The book of 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 3. Read. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Those that's in this battle, that's in this war, guess what? Things is happening. We done lost jobs, y'all. We done lost families, right. friends. We done, listen, we done been through it. Just like you watching Kyrie right now. We're literally looking at his life being unfolded in front of us and he's losing things. Nike even ran, out, ran yep. off on him. NBA don't want him to play no more. Friends, people that he thought was his support system turning his back on him. Yay! Same thing. We watched that man lose, what was it, two million, two billion dollars? Yeah. In a day. Gone. Gone. He's lost friends. He's lost his kids. He's telling you all this going on. Guess what? These things you're going to have to endure as a good soldier in Christ. Read on. Verse 4. No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life. It says, no man that warreth. Who is warring? The soldiers in Christ. We're talking about you brothers and you sisters that have picked up the plow. It says, no man that warreth entangleth himself in the affairs of this life. Again, I'm talking to you sideliners as well as you brothers and sisters that may be in the body. Some of y'all is either or out of the body, you know, temporarily because whatever issue or whatever happened to you, you out of the body and now you're trying to figure out where you fit in all this. Like you done lost faith. Like you don't like you don't realize what it is that you're doing. Get focused. It's war. Right. It is war time. We said at the class, what time is it? War, war time. time. Oh, you don't believe that, right? Right. 
Oh, it's 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 dinner time. <laughs> it's sleepy time. Sleepy time, <laughs> right? It's, it's time, nap time. It's hey. time to go to bed. It's time to lay down. It's baby making time. It's di- it's baby Hold baby. on, ain't nothing wrong with baby making time. We know these baby making time. Right, but, right. Right. but definitely it's war time, right? Right. right? We make babies in war, y'all. Right. Right. Huh? Right. 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 Gotta bring back the nation. The soldiers gotta replenish the earth. Please, please don't mention it right now. Damn, Palu. Hey, congratulations to the house of Captain Palu. That's right. He just had his baby girl today. And look at him. He back at war. He had a baby and he's here now. Captain Palu in hell right now. Huh? He's in hell right now. He's in hell right now. He just had a baby. He's right. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, y'all? Yeah, what are you talking about? Oh, God. Okay. Yeah. Fix his face, please. Anyways, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> to entangle yourself with the things of this world, whether whatever issue you got. See, a lot of times, we got to see ourselves as warriors. And a lot of times, we allow things to take us out of the fight. Whether it be your pride. Here it is, your simple behind got demoted because you let pride get on right. you. Your simple behind is out the body because you allow pride to get on you and take you out. Here it is, you feel like something's supposed to be a certain way or move a certain way, and now guess what? You're, supposed to, you're a soldier, you take orders. Like, okay, what else, right? Here it is, you've been given orders and you don't do, so guess what, now you're outside. Or that sin that you allowed to take you out. Give me that real quick, Hebrews 12. Hebrews 12 and one. This is how we're supposed to move and understand that we can't allow these things to take us out the fight. Not that it ain't gonna happen, it can happen to me, anybody. What I'm saying is we got to be cognizant of that these things can occur. And for us to be productive soldiers in this fight, in this war, we got to remain in the fight. Don't let nothing take you out of this thing. You got that? Yes, sir. Read. The book of Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 1. Come on. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witness. Uh huh. Let us lay aside every weight. Lay aside every weight. And the sin which does so easily beset us. You got to lay all that stuff aside, that weight and that sin that does so easily beset you. You got to let it go. Like Christ said, if your right hand offend thee, cut it off. If your eye offend thee, pluck it out. Whatever you do, whatever you got to do to get rid of it, to get back in the fight, that's where you're supposed to be. This isn't, imagine, here it is, a built up, swole warrior, right? Mm. Here it is, he's been given all the tools necessary. God has given them the sword. He's giving them the shield and buckler. He didn't gave him everything he needs, right? He goes out to battle. All the armies is charging out. The enemy is right there coming at us. Everybody's fighting. And here go the warrior. Oh, whoa, what is that? Daffodils. <laughs> Let me go play in the flowers. The hell is this? What is going on? What is going on? We out here in a battle. It's a whole war out here. And you letting your sin take you out this fight. Mm, right. You letting whatever's distracting you get you out of the way. Wake yo behind up. I, can't, I wanted to say what I wanted to say. You've been right, complaining right, as a right. So I'm trying. We, hey, we're keeping I, it PG. Listening. I'm listening. We try to keep it clean tonight so no one can and, say, oh, and I'm sorry. What the best, I couldn't hear the message because he <laughs> said, because he the said, a- <laughs> SS word. Shut up. <laughs> Swore. I'm sorry. What the hell's wrong with y'all? <laughs> right. you forgive me? Listen to me. Listen sorry. to me. Whatever it is is taking you away. Snap out of it. I'm talking to all you folks that's on the wayside, on the sidelines right now. Here it is. You got brothers that was active. They was active in this battle. Mm -hmm. And they on the sideline right now because of pride, because of some personal issue. Shake that mess off. You see what's going on in the world right now. This is what you look like. Watch watch this real quick. This Mm. is exactly what you look like right now. (laughs) (laughs) Who (laughs) does? Who does? Who does? Who the daffodils? Who the daffodils? Oh, you offended me, bro. Why you say that? I put a kid to me. My wife. Where is my wife at? To focus. I gotta go. I gotta get the kids. I gotta watch the kids. I don't know who's wrong. I gotta watch the kids. Everybody wrong. That means everybody right. Everybody wrong. What are you talking about? All right. So watch this. Next. Give me Second Ezra, the seventh chapter. Second Ezra, chapter seven. No, no, we don't. Yeah. Y'all stop slowing the momentum down. Second Ezra 7 and 17. (laughs) What's he talking about, bro? Read that. Second Ezra 7, 17. We be forgetting sometimes. We need that reminder. Like I said, everybody sees what's happening. 
You see, right now, we are center stage. And you on the sidelines? You was trying to figure out what to do? Give me 2 Ezra chapter 7, verse 17. Yes, sir. The book of 2 Ezra chapter 7 and verse 17. Read. Then answered I and said, O Lord, that, be thou, that bearest woo, uh -huh. thou hast ordained thy law, that the righteous should inherit these things. This is the Bible. This God has ordained that the righteous shall inherit the earth, right? You got to keep the commandments to get the kingdom. Ever since uh, the, the fall of man, since the fall of Adam, these, this is, has been what we have to do now to get back to where we belong. Read. Thou hast ordained in thy law that the righteous should inherit these things. Come on. But that the ungodly should perish. The ungodly, those that don't love God enough to change their lives and to read the Bible and do what it says, they got to die, the Bible right. says. Come on. Nevertheless, the righteous shall suffer straight things Come and on. hope for why. We're going to suffer straight things, hard things. It's going to suck. This isn't going to be easy, y'all. Stress, depression, everything that you're going through, guess what? You're going to have to go through it and hope for the wide, hope for the kingdom. Right. Come on. For they that have done wickedly have suffered the straight things. And they do going through the same thing, too. They're depressed. They're stressed. They're out here living the curses just like us. Read. And yet shall not see the wide. They're going to die because they didn't want to repent. Read. Right. And he said unto me. There is no judge above God, uh -huh. and none that have understanding above the highest. Read. For there be many that perish in this life, because they despise the law of God that is set before them. Because they what? Because they despise the law of God that is set before them. As warriors of the Most High God, we understand everybody's not going to get it. We out there swinging swords. We out there doing the will of God because we've been commanded to, and we understand the mission. Wake up the elect. Right. So that person that's going to be righteous, let him be righteous still. Right. He going to come in. He going to repent. He going to do what God said to do. He that is wicked, let him be wicked still. Hey, it is what it is. You don't want to change. You don't love God enough. Cool. We going to look for those that do. Read on. Verse 21. Uh -huh. For God hath given straight commandments to such as Cain. Read. What they should do to live, even as they came. It ain't no secret what you must do. That's why when we read the Bible, it's redundant. It says it over and over. It's only these so-called Christians that want to tweak and try to change what God said because ultimately they don't want to keep the commandments. They don't want to do what Christ said do. Come on. And what they should observe to avoid punishment. We're trying to avoid the punishment of being rebellious like these folks that's going to perish out here. So don't mind me if I'm out here trying to do what God said to do and you want to do what you want to do. Watch this though. Jump down to verse 57. Verse 57. Read. Then answered he me and said, uh -huh. this is the condition of the battle. This is life, brothers and sisters. See, some of y'all like, but I, I'm not a soldier, though. I'm not. Just the hell you are. The Most High God has woken you up. If you know who you are, if you hear my voice right now, if the Most High has woken you up to do what God said to do. You know you're an Israelite. You know Christ came to die for you, and you got to keep the commandments in order to inherit the kingdom of heaven with faith in Christ. Guess what? You a warrior. You've been called. Put your brick in. Get up off your behind and let's get to work. That's right. See, here it is, United in Christ. We understand this ain't no one man show. Bishop instilled that in us long ago. It's not one single person that's going to come here and is going to do all the work. No, we move as a conglomerate. We move as a body. We move as a one. That's, right. that's how you get things done. That's why the earth is shaking right now. Right, right now, because what? We in Christ, y'all. So you want to you want to be a part of that? You want to instead of watching it, get in it. Instead of looking, do it. Read on. This is the condition of the battle. Uh -huh. Which man that is born upon the earth shall fight. Read. That if he be overcome, he shall suffer as thou hast said. He shall suffer as thou hast said. Read. But if he get the victory. If what? But if he get the victory. If he gets, if he comes, he under, he wakes up to who he is. He keeps God's commandments and he believes on the Messiah. You got to do that. If you don't believe on Christ, you're not going to make it. Did, did you see how I always say, Israel United Christ, they only harp on the laws. Mm. It's the law. You dummy. You just, listen, you with that selective hearing. Right. You have to keep God's commandments and faith in his son to make it to the kingdom of heaven. Right. That's the message here at Israel United in Christ. Right. That's right. Go ahead. But if he get the victory, Come on. he shall receive the thing that I say. The kingdom. Read on. For mm. this is the life whereof Moses spake unto the people while he lived. Read. Saying, choose the life. Choose the what? Choose the life. Come on. That thou mayest live. This has been the mission. 
even from the time of Moses. This has been the mission that we all have to partake in in order to make it to the kingdom. In order to get the heck up out of captivity, we got to put in work, y'all. So don't look at yourself like you regular. Don't look at yourself like, oh, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm just here. Heck no. You are a profitable part of this body. Let's do work. Right. All right. Give me the next video. See, they, oh, pause. And they, because I, I want to show this because they're going to say, ah, oh, man, y'all with the glitz and the glam. See, y'all got the edited video, yada, yada. You want to see what the army of God looks like? Let's get some raw footage of the army of God. That's right. Raw footage, man. Go ahead. Son of Benjamin. Son of Benjamin. You can read about him. And you can read about him. Act them soldiers, bro. Damn. Let me hear you in the front. Let me hear you in the front. What about the back? What about the back? They can't hear you. They can't hear you. Let them hear all of you. Let them hear all of you. Shift right, shift to the right. Shift right, shift right, shift right, shift right, shift right. They don't know nothing about moving in unison. I'm telling you. Give me Revelations, the 11th chapter. That's right. Revelations, the 11th chapter and the 11th verse. Go. Revelations 11 and 11. Read that, please. The book of Revelation, chapter 11 and verse 11. Read. And after three days and a half, uh -huh. the spirit of life from God entered into them. The spirit of life from God entered into them. Read on. And they stood upon their feet. Uh huh. A, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. And what? And great fear fell upon them which saw them. I'm going to give y'all an example. I'm going to keep showing this. Yeah. I'm going to keep showing this because this is a prime example of <laughs> their fear. Somebody help. <laughs> and how vocab responds to this pick up his book i've got it in the description of the video uh is there anything else that you wanted to share Go ahead. about this and how vocab responds to this pick up his book i've got it in the description of the video uh is there anything else that you wanted to share about this before we before we close out two christians watching this help um <laughs> if you know a hebrew Israelite, which help me you're gonna meet Help. one. They're, They're so not just scary. The corners. They're your job Somebody more and more. The They're in your family. It's gonna. I think within five years, um, it's, it's gonna, gonna be the scariest rivals. thing I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. yeah. Past the nation of Islam is the largest competitor it's be terrifying. in the city for Christ oh the Christian church. I don't. I don't think that's. I think that's almost certain. So you're gonna meet them. Ask so you're them. saying take it seriously, right? Yes. Yeah, take it yes. Seriously. I am saying take it Pause. seriously. And also, He's pleading. He's ple yeah. Help me. <laughs> Help me! <laughs> the, the, the dude said, "So take it serious." Take it serious. <laughs> yes, they're growing right now, bro. I'm telling you right now. He said, "Back." I told y'all. He said, "Look, look, look, look at him. Look at him." <laughs> hey, Dix, listen to the wording. He said, "Competitor." He mm. said, "Competitor," meaning like they ain't playing. They not. They, they yeah, ain't playing. They not playing. They're against not, us. You know what I mean? They, they, they coming to take over. They are serious. Yeah. Mm. They believe what they're doing. Yeah. They believe in what they're doing. It, and you notice they don't think they don't think Islam is a competitor. No. Mm. Right. Mm. Mm -mm. He said they're going to compass them. Man. Yeah. Yeah. He said they, I'm certain they're going to compass. They, they the competitor. Yes. Yeah. What's going to happen? Like I said, what we're seeing unfold is Bible prophecy coming to pass. Y'all, we are living in a time where the book that we read and believe in, everything is happening. Mm -hmm. Right, It's all happening before our faces. And if you don't have enough understanding to see it, you'll be just like these Negroes out here in La La Land, playing with the daffodils. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, what I got next? Give me, um, give me the next vid. This is what he was afraid of again. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Woo! This is at, at Barclay. Mm -hmm. Woo. They made no confused soldiers. No, they make confused soldiers right there. Who's the king? Christ. Who's the king? Christ. The black messiah. That's right. What time is it? What time? What time is it? What time? What time is it? What time? Nah, 
Look at <laughs> what time it is. What time it is, brothers. We are at war for the minds of our people. We are at war pushing this truth that we are the twelve tribes of Israel. That's right. We are we are out here to spread this message that the twelve tribes of Israel is those Negroes that was taken and scattered in slavery. That's right. All right. Brothers, stay in the spirit. Okay, we are here to teach our people, thus says the Lord. Yes. We are, we are here to wake up the 12 tribes of Israel. They label us a hate group. They label us extremists. You understand? Which is a lie. We are the sons of God. We are the 12 tribes of Israel. What? And we could go into the scriptures and prove it. That's right. So brothers, we are here to teach our people, all right? We are here to wake up our people to the truth, okay? So, we're going to set up camp on, on, on every corner. Hey, pause real quick. Right. right now, all them Edomites on the sideline listening right now, <laughs> the one thing that they don't want to hear, and they're thinking they're about to hear it, but they're not going to hear it because we don't move like that. <laughs> But they praying what don't come out of Deacon Malachi's mouth is attack. Attack, yeah. <laughs> they looking yeah. like what the hell? What is this? What? what they y'all know what it is? Yeah. We step in these cities, bro. They be looking at us like we about to do something. Yep. Listen, we are the most peaceful people on this planet. That's right. All we want to do is raise up our, our people. That's All right. we want to do is tell our people who they are and keep God's commandments. Period. That's it. But they be like I said. That's how you know it's the Bible that affects them. Yep. Because when we have we, when they say read, mm -hmm. that thing hurts worse than bullets. Yep. Mm -hmm. That thing hurts worse than any sword. Mm -hmm. mm. The word of God hurts worse than you thought we was gonna do. Exactly. Now watch this. Give me that. Uh, I want Deacon I Thun next. I'm telling y'all, man. When you move. When we speak, like I said, the world is listening and they're hanging on to every little word that we say. And we know this. You, we you absolutely know you this. You in the spirit, D. Watch this, man. Uh, I tell you. Is it right? I tell you. I tell you. All right. You have a last name? Israel. Israel. All right. Um, what's your role? What's your, what's your, what do you represent here? Um, I'm Israel United in Christ. I'm a deacon of Israel United in Christ. Um, we are a faith based organization. Um, we teach our people who they are according to the Bible, the blacks, Hispanics, the Native Americans, and those of the so called African diaspora, the 12 tribes of Israel. Right. So tell me, I mean, we've been hearing a lot about this Kyrie Irving situation. Tell me what your thoughts are. What, what do you think about this? Kyrie Irving, like gay as well, are seeking out them. Our people are, have been lost, we've been misinformed for many years in terms of education, in terms of the truth behind our heritage, where we come from. And so Kyrie was seeking knowledge of that, of understanding in terms of our identity, where we're from, how we got here, why we were brought over here in the first place, our conditions. And the man was seeking Pause real quick. Pause real quick. Let me tell y'all something. <laughs> y'all know what they wanted to hear. When they put that microphone in the Deacon Ithon's mouth, they wanted to hear, Lord Jesus, it's a fire. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what done when during tarnations done happen around here. But we've come outside <laughs> to tell everybody we got to do something. What? We don't know. <laughs> they was hoping it was a dumb Negro that was going to take up the microphone. But what did they find? They found an eloquent speaker. That's right. They right. found somebody right. that can right. actually right. articulate to them what the Bible saying, why we're here, and here's the, sol the solution to our problems as a nation. Oh man, if that ain't that is nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> That's worse than Freddy, Jason, Chucky. That's worse than any nightmare movie or uh, scary movie you don't ever seen. An educated black man. What did Kyrie say? He said he knew that reading was what a superpower. Mm -hmm. Reading's a superpower. What he's saying is we gotta. Going into that Bible and understanding what it says is our strength. So, D, this didn't air. I ain't seen it. <laughs> I haven't right. seen it. Air. Like, I, I'm not going to say they didn't because it may be somewhere, but I just haven't seen it yet. Right. <laughs> you know, watch this. Um, and y'all can check this out. Matter of fact, I don't want to I don't want to post the whole thing because we might post it on something else. But I did want to show that we were interviewed. Right. So check this out. This is the New York Post. Yeah. Pull this article up real quick. There was several different reporters that came in contact with us out there. This is why it's important for us to all be on one accord. Matter of fact, real quick, give me Luke 21 and 15. 
Luke, the 21st chapter, and the 15th verse. The book of Luke, chapter 21, and verse 15. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom, which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. Read that again. Y'all stop distracting me I'm right sorry, now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. Read it again. Fix your face. Fix your face. He was doing something, right? Yeah. The book of Luke, chapter 21 and verse 15. Read. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom, mm -hmm. which, shall, which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. They witnessed that every time we open our mouth. They, again, they want what was created in America, which was Negroes. They want us to respond like Negroes would respond. Right. You see, I'm using the nice words, AZ. Yeah. They want us to respond like that instead of responding like eloquent Israel, the eloquent Israelites that we are. Right. They want to hear Negroes. They want to hear African Americans. You're not going to get that from the Israelites. That's, that's right. We no longer live nor abide by your way of thinking. Either. That's we right. have come back to our heritage, our culture, and guess what? We moving like God commanded us to move. So go ahead with the article. Black Hebrew Israelite group protests Kyrie Irving suspension near Barclays Center. Once again, they know we, we, we don't go by that term. We are not black mm -hmm. Hebrew Israelites. That's their way of saying they're not the true Israelites. Right. That's defamation right there. Where, right. where, the, where, where, they, where the lawyers where, at? Right. That's defamation right there. We said on endless times, we are not black Hebrew Israelites. Yeah, what Let the other what BHIs refer to themselves as that. We are not what BHIs. They're they supposed to be for all it's people. Anti -Semitism. Anti deformation they're league, supposed right? They're for all people, everybody. Go ahead. Suspending Kyrie Irving did not rid the Nets of controversy and external anger. Uh -huh. Outside Barclays Center before the Nets hosted the Knicks on Wednesday night were several dozen members of a black he Hebrew Israelite group based in the Bronx. Listen, you hear that several do dozens? You had over 100 brothers out there. You didn't well, tell you right. they be trying to minimize Several it. Dozens. They had a couple people gathered together. and <laughs> They don't want you to know that there's a movement in the earth. Right, right. That there's a whole movement happening right now. It's greater than a movement. It's prophecy being fulfilled That's in the right. earth. And they right. want you to miss it. Go ahead. Based in the Bronx, peacefully prote protesting Irving's suspension. We're expressing, we're expressing our support of Kyrie Irving and his stance in terms of of him knowing who he is. Deacon Ithon of Israel United in Christ said, before defending Irving's conduct in the same way the Nets star did. Kyrie Irving himself understands that not only are we Semitic ourselves, but it is contradictory and hypocritical to say that someone is anti-Semitic when they are Semitic. Mm. Go ahead. Black Hebrew. Show, show the picture real quick. Let me see the pic. So go ahead. Now they, then they, they go on to say, go ahead. Black Hebrew Israelites believe. They believe they have, well, I'm telling you, they be doing damn, this stuff for a purpose. It's all good. No worries. No worries. Go ahead. And not Jewish people are the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. Two weeks ago, Irvin promoted a movie over social media that expresses that belief and that contained anti-Semitic tropes, including questioning the Holocaust and quoting Adolf Hitler. After Irving was pressed about the film in the media session, and would not answer a flat no when asked if he held anti-Semitic beliefs. He was suspended for at least five games and given a six-point plan to complete before he could return. It's ridiculous to have him go through all these conditions just because he shared something, said Deacon Ithon, mm -hmm. who placed blame on Amazon, too, for hosting the movie. There's certain, certain content in there that may be found, offen that may be found offensive, but if he found some truth in the movie... There shouldn't be a problem. Wednesday was the fourth game Irvin missed, and the Nets will, will not play again at home until November 20th. Deacon Ithon suggested that if, the, that if the suspension continues, the group will be back. Uh-oh. As long as we are legally allowed to do so, we will peacefully protest, he said. As long as we are legally allowed to do so, meaning we operate within right. the law. Right. We operate within the laws of the land. You will never see us out here promoting nor breaking the laws of the land. We operate within the statutes that the, the state has told us we have to operate in, which is freedom of speech. We're, we are able to have a peaceful protest, to gather peacefully and teach the Bible, and that's what we do. But see, in times like these, let's just be real. 
White people do not want you to understand what's going on. White people, I'm talking about Edom, the Edomites, they don't want you to reflect on history to come back to who you are. That's why they continuously, continuously call us black Hebrew Israelites. They want you to separate Israel, the Israelites, from yourself. Right. Anytime we bring up any truth, like we, we, we on the corners, we talk about slavery, right? They want to pretend like slavery never happened. Mm. Right. They want to try to disassociate themselves, not because, oh, it was so bad, right. but because it is a reflection of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. Do not be fooled, Israel. This whole, um, what was this replacement, what's it called, theory? What's it called? Uh, yeah, critical race theory. theory. Yeah. Critical race right. theory. Critical race theory. That whole attack is against Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. They don't want you to come back to who you are. White folks get uncomfortable when you speak on the history. Mm -hmm. I got an example. <laughs> like this, here and here go. <laughs> Bring it out. This was Bring real. Hey, this was real. This, yeah, yeah, this is real. Enjoy the show. Why are you doing that? We're just trying to make sure it's accurate. What's accurate? The event. I thought you can dress up. Okay, so where do we need to go to? Oh, how did 30 seconds Pause. So you see, they're out here reenacting the old South. Yeah. Right. They want to relive. I'm telling you, Edom don't want to let go the old days. Mm -hmm. They want that back. When they, say make a, when they say make America great again, what they're saying is we want to go back to the way it was. Mm -hmm. We don't like this that new stuff. You, you woke black folks. We don't like y'all talking back and reading out loud and reading this Bible. Right. We don't want that. So these brothers went out to reality. These brothers went out to the whatever this meeting thing was that they this reenactment, and they're like, "Hey, if we're gonna reenact it, let's tell the truth. <laughs> let's bring all the characters in, right? All right? Watch. I probably they probably never had this happen before. Hey, yo, Brody, that looks like some more like medieval armor than anything. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm a Civil War historian. Like, I know all the drip that they had. He did too. Where's the video? Going? Oh, this is for the History Channel. Do you know what time the auction block starts? They didn't have an auction block today. Fuck. I was trying to be the first overall today. pick. The first overall pick. Today. Whoa. Why do we have to leave? What are we doing here, man? We're with the History Channel. Why is this? Oh, this is, was just the drip back then. Yeah. I'm sorry? This was the drip back then. We just want to be as historically <laughs> accurate as possible. That's not. Yeah, it is. It's not funny, it's not cute, it's not okay. This is not okay. But this is history. We have good, bad, and ugly. It was invited. We don't know where, <laughs> where it came from. <laughs> so anybody that came is, it said anybody could come. Really? Yeah, that is definitely not historically accurate. Yeah, yes, yeah that, he's, he's Actually, not with us. He must have watched Django or something. That's make believe. He must have watched Django. Uh, Damn. Of Damn. Of Excuse me? Oh, can we not use it? Uh -huh. I'll let you tell him that. Yeah, you tell him that, just like you said it. What the hell? You scared of horses. <laughs> Why? Tell him what you just told us. Well, first off, what do you identify as? <laughs> no, like, are you Caucasian, uh, Asian, you Blasian? Want. A certain period of clothes that you got to have on. For instance, uh, sandals and stuff, you can't do that. I oh, no. Oh. <laughs> this cotton's already processed, you know, the cotton gin already got it. So I couldn't find any unpicked cotton. That was kind of hard. In the bags. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, we're definitely gonna pick it. You know I'm gonna pick it. Like I'm, a, I'm down to be on ammunition duty. You know I'm down to be a rifleman. I'm down to work the field. I'm down to be in the house. I would prefer to be in the house though. I'm from Chirac. I know how to use a gun. Yeah, but still, we don't know that. Do you, they don't play this practice. Where did you get the chains? Walmart. No. Party City. Where are you folks from? My daddy's balls. I'm from the Candyland Plantation. That's, that's great. I'm property of Calvin Candy. Candyland. I'm trying to Why tell you, you Mississippi. Tell me the truth. What's of the Mississippi? Why are you scared to speak the truth? Okay, do you want me to break character? Oh, is that a character? Is that what you're doing? Well, I mean, aren't we all in character? Wait, is this going on Facebook Live? Because I, I can't be on there. I uh oh, can't. too late. No, 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 no. Uh oh, too no. late. Please, 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 please. Too please. late, buddy. Uh oh, now they're getting into real character. Huh? <laughs> Damn. Damn. Stop. Oh, is this, stop. This is awesome. Here, if we pick faster, he might put up his phone. Make sure you pick up the plastic you're getting a fine for littering. Yes, sir. <laughs> Whatever you say, master. Hey! <laughs> oh, you don't like that. You don't like that. Wait, why did that police officer pull up in a car? Cars weren't invented yet. 
Hey, man, we're just here to enjoy the show, and they just don't like our outfits. I think they're just mad because we're more historically accurate than all of them. <laughs> you often do the on the roadway that they ask you to leave as private property, man. They were trying to get people to fight with them and stuff. I what? Woo! Oh, boy, Karen Why would we get quick. people to fight with us? Boy. We're slaves. <laughs> <laughs> we're slaves. Right, master. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry, master. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> And then you, that's how the hierarchy goes. <laughs> like, you know, really was kind of Damn. Like, color picking skills. Can I go like show her what's up? Because I can pick 12 ounces per second. Because you know I have the fastest cotton shuttle time in the world. Oh, ma'am, can you do me a favor? Did you just like karate chop elbow this? Pia, yeah, right. <sighs> I'm free! <laughs> no, God. Nigga, every nigga for his own. <laughs> he messed his own. Hey man, listen. Damn. Eat him get real uncomfortable. Yep. Like they don't come on, man. Y'all know what y'all was out there. Right. Doing. They if anything had you know, I ain't gonna say that. I ain't gonna say that. <laughs> All right, give me the give me the next one, bro. Give me uh it's uh Lisa Cabrera. So in the midst, let me give a little let me let me talk it up a little bit. So basically, um with all this going on, the world is watching. The world is watching, and they're seeing how they're trying to hide the Israelites. It, it, don't y'all find it odd? In all this going on, they're interviewing the Ish community, mm. but they have yet to come to any of the Israelite leaders right, right. to maybe get some cl more clearer yeah, understanding right, right. On, on what it is that Kyrie is saying. Right. Have you? Have, nobody's been notified. They didn't say anything to me. I haven't heard him say, you know, Bishop hasn't told me he's got right. a call or right. anything. What's mm. going on? We, who we got? Oh, okay. Nothing. So it's like, why do they get? Why do their leaders get notified? Why are they they working with them, but they don't want to work with the Israelites? Hmm. Are you hiding something? They want to remove us into a corner, y'all. Right. They realize, dang, we made a mistake. We made a mistake in let, allowing this to be broadcasted in the first place by making a big deal out of what the, they should have just left Kyrie alone. Right. They should have just left Kyrie alone. What they feared so much, which is putting us in the front cover, putting us in, out there to, to be seen by the rest of the world, because they've been trying to hide us. They, try, they, they hit us in Detroit. They tried to hide us in Chicago, Memphis. All the, the, the major marches, they've, they've tried to hide us. Here it is. You got black men walking in unison together, marching together mm. in the name of peace, uh, Christ, in the name of building up our communities. Right. Nobody says anything, right? But here it is. You got you have other people that make the news for literally nothing. So and so's flower shop, so and so's uh, bakery is opening on Fifth Street, and we just wanted to cover. Hey, so how's it going? Susan? Right, right. What's, Not the thousands. How'd of you Israelites. miss? How'd you miss thousands of black <laughs> men marching together in unison, <laughs> chanting, "Take care of our wives and our children too." How you miss that? You wanted to. You wouldn't allow that image to be portrayed or put put out there. Yo, no, don't let them see them type of black folks. We need to show the Negras. So this sister actually caught some of what was going on, and she kind of covers it. And matter of fact, I believe she got like twenty two thousand views on her page mm -hmm. from this 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 cover right here. Go ahead. Hi. And gentlemen, this past Wednesday, Israel United in Christ went up to Barclay Center, went near it to protest on the behalf of Kyrie Irving. And we're all aware of his suspension. And of course, that didn't get rid of all the controversy and all the things that are being said surrounding this suspension. So outside Barclays Center before the Nets hosted the Knicks on Wednesday night, there were several dozen members of a Hebrew Israelite based. Uh, this group is based in the Bronx. They were peacefully protesting on the behalf of Irvin's suspension. We're expressing our support of Kyrie Irving and his stance in terms of him knowing who he is, Deacon Ivan of Israel United in Christ. 
said before defending Irving's conduct in the same way the Nets star did. So Kyrie Irving himself understands that not only are we Semitic ourselves, Uh but Mm -mm. it is contradictory and hypocritical Mm. to say that someone is anti-Semitic when they are Semitic. Exactly. I can't knock that. That is definitely the truth. That's right. All right, y'all. So a, a shout out to these brothers for going out there. It is about doing what's right. So the Hebrew Israelites believe they and not Jewish people are the children of Israel. Two weeks ago, Irving promoted a movie over social media that expressed his beliefs and that contained what they said anti-Semitic tropes without even telling us what that is including questioning the Holocaust, uh, quoting Adolf Hitler. Now, I didn't hear all that, and I've watched it, okay? So after Irving was pressed about the film in the media session and would not answer a flat no when he was asked if he held anti-Semitic beliefs, he was suspended for at least five games and given a six-point plan to complete before he could return. And that's why a lot of people are saying that's buck breaking. Well, now Paul, it is buck buck break. The same exact tactic that was being used. You could drop this. Point is, I wanted to show y'all is that the world is watching. And what the the woman was saying was that they use these things, these these tropes to say, you know, we're we're Mm anti-Semitic, but you're not saying what it is. You really want to know why they wanted a clear no? They wanted him to say that he was he was not anti-Semitic because when he says that, he's make, basically seeming though because he had a video posted about us being Israel. So they want him to denounce that in hopes that it will basically make it appear like he no longer believes we're the Israelites. Right. You can't. You, that's, there's not a flat no. Whenever you say that, again, are you against black people? They wouldn't ask. You can't ask a, a black person that because they be like, wait, what? What are you saying? How am I? I'm, I'm a black, right? They'd be okay with that, but they wouldn't be. They're not okay with him saying what? Huh? What do you mean? I know where I come from. I can't be anti-Semitic. He's mm. saying he's an Israelite. See right. what they want? They wanted him to say that so that they can associate him with B H I. Right. So let's be honest. What you want? What you media folks wanted to do? Yep. You wanted him to say I can't be anti-Semitic because I'm an Israelite. Oh, Kyrie Irving announces to the world that he is a black Hebrew Israelite. We know how you folk play. Right. Then you pull the, the 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 dummies, the bums out there teaching rape and all this other right. nonsense, and now you associate him with that with foolishness. Them, yeah. We see you, we see you, and he saw you. Said so he didn't play into that, mm-hmm. and he answered you correctly. Just like remember, Christ was answering them questions, and they was pissed off because right. they couldn't right. catch him. Right. He says, "What did I say that was anti-Semitic?" Mm-hmm. Well, uh, are you so, are you just say yes or no, man? Get the heck right. out of here. D, remember, he asked. He said, "Did I commit a crime?" Right. Did I commit a crime? There was nothing that they could catch him on. Uh, can I get a script real quick? Go ahead, go ahead. Give me um, Acts chapter 25, verse 7. Did the same thing to Christ, like Deke just said, the same thing to Paul. All right. And, and Kyrie, you know, uh, shout out to our brother. He's handling himself very well in the media. Right. But read that for me real quick. The book of Acts chapter 25 and verse 7. Come on. And when he was come, the Jews came down from Jerusalem, stood round about, mm-hmm. and laid many grip. Many and grievous plaint, complaints against Paul. Right. Many grievous complaints. They're saying what? Oh, he is an anti-Semitic. Right. All right. They're, they're bringing all of these grievous complaints against our brother Kyrie out in the media. They're trying to ca- publicly castrate our brother. Right. All right. Go ahead. Which they could not prove. But they could not prove it. They could mm-hmm. not prove it. Like he said, it's impossible for him to be an anti-Semitic. He himself is Semitic. Fact. Read on. While he answered for himself... Neither against the law of the Jews. All right, so he didn't answer to go against anything. Every time they try to pick something in Kyrie's speech, you cannot prove it to be wrong. You cannot prove it to show that he has an offense in any way, shape, or form. Read on. 
neither against the temple, uh -huh. nor yet against Caesar, have I offended in anything at all. You see that thing right there? So obviously the spirit is dealing with the brother to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. All right. And that's why. Hey, us, us soldiers like Deacon was bringing out earlier, we got to have our brothers back. As right. long as he is teaching Bible, we got to have our brothers gotta back. Got to have his back. Right. That's, That's it. Have his yes, back. That's it. If what he's saying is scriptural, if what they're saying is of the Lord, I'm with you. Mm -hmm. 100%. Right. So after that happened, guess what everybody did? They took to Twitter. Mm -hmm. They took to Twitter. And again, this is an example of how the media, how they want things portrayed, right? So go ahead. Yeah, there we go. Read that for me. Tweet by the NBA Central. Black Israelites in front of Barclays Center in support of Kyrie Irving. Why couldn't they just say Israelites in front right, of right, Barclays right. Center? They have to put these tropes out there right, because right. they are the true anti-Semites. Go ahead. Yeah. Right. The truth Go, no, scroll, scroll up. Just so you see they posted the, uh, the, the flyer. They got a picture of the brothers. Scroll up. I want to see if we can see any of the comments. Keep going. Uh, hold on, go up. What does this say? Bishop and Pastor Raymond Wilson said, most black people stand with Kyrie. A lot of non-black people won't care because they don't get it. You know what's crazy? We've been going to the pastors. Right. A lot of y'all have been watching. We hear these blitzes. We've been going there with Community Solutions, which is the Bible which is us coming back to our nationality, that we are the Israelites, right? We are Semitic, and we got to keep God's commandments and faith in his son. But for some reason, they didn't want to talk to us. But now, all of a sudden, you know what I'm saying? Now, they, they like I said, they're trying to get in where they fit in. Scroll up. Let me see. Wait, wait. What's oh, right it say? Right there, right there. Black people. Yes, sir. Uh, tweet by Ziza. Black people are mindlessly following Kyrie because... He's a black celebrity who is being silenced by the media, and rightfully so. He tweeted out a movie containing horrible anti-Semitic points, and he's being punished for it. So you see, again, mm -hmm. the scariest thing is us coming together. They, don't, they will allow us to unite over mindless nonsense. But when it's something that's biblical, when it's something that's bringing us back to the Bible, all of a sudden, it's a problem. They didn't care when you called yourself... Uh, com uh, comedic. Mm -hmm. They didn't care when you called yourself Nubian. They didn't care when you called yourself a, a Muslim. Right. They didn't care nothing about that, but right. there's something about that Israelite mm -hmm. word. Right, right. There's something about you identifying with the children of Israel, God's chosen people. That scares the mess out of them. Mm -hmm. That should let you know which direction to go. Yep. That within itself, for you folks, is again, you was trying to figure out what all this is about. That within itself should have you asking questions. You was gonna say something, y'all? Stop. They had a million Negroes. They had what, every other every three years, a million man march or something mm -hmm. like that, of different philosophies. They don't care about that. They right. ain't up in the uproar. Even they they put it on camera. Mm -hmm. They 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 put it on front news. It's in Washington D.C. Right? Yeah. They don't care. But when you, one person made a tweet. <laughs> Way in the corner over there. <laughs> it's all this. Hey, remember when that sister about lost her job? I think she might yeah. have lost her job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, Never yes, seen her again. Oh, yeah. Boy, yeah. she's off the scene now. Yeah. She post, She made a post about us. She covered our story about what we was doing. And she said exactly what we were doing. Yeah. Now, where is she? They won't let her post on Facebook. No Man. Man. Listen. All right. You can drop that. You can drop that. So, like I said, they took the Twitter. Okay. And then you had, after he made this, you know, that, that comment Kyrie did. Then you had the issues show up and do a right. protest. Now, what's crazy is nobody took the Twitter in a negative way. Right. Nobody's saying, man, those issues mindlessly follow so and so of the ADL because yeah. they didn't say that. They support it. Go ahead. Kevin Durant getting ready to check back in at the 205 mark. Durant two points Look at away this. from moving up. This was to intimidate him. Right. right. Damn. He's behind someone you know quite well. A friend of yours. None of them watch basketball. No. They don't look impoverished to me. They don't no. look like none of the curses fit them. They on yeah. court side. Court side. Court side. But again, nobody said anything about them. Right. Nobody said that what they were doing was wrong. Then trying to intimidate him during the game. Like what? What, what message are you really trying to send? And they're not us, so they didn't show up like we did. 
<laughs> well, when we show up, best believe that's we right. show up. We show that's up. Right. Don't ever get it twisted or misconstrued. Once you set us off, it's on. Let's go. Right. They've been lying for so long and living this lie of being Jews. They're talking about, hey, Kyrie, you got to come and speak to the Jewish Brooklyn leaders. Where are they? Come speak to us. The truth of this Bible was given unto you, Israelites. You got a problem with us being Israelites? Come talk to us. We're going to bring you this Bible, thus saith the Lord. That's right. This gospel is spreading. You cannot contain the truth of the Bible. There's many things that's evil going on in the land of Israel. But there's no media coverage for that. But when black people do crime in the hood, it's all on the news. It's all mm. on the news. Who control the news? The Jewish media, like Kanye West said. Now let's see what color they are. They are black. What color are the Jews? They are black. If you're black, you are Shemitic. So Kyrie Irving was correct. Of six things. Hey, guess what, Kyrie? You gotta come over here and make my little kid lunch. Hey, Kyrie, guess what? Can we ride you like a horse? Then you can get your job back. No, we're not doing that. Y'all gonna understand, y'all gonna learn that we're Israelites. We're not bending or breaking for nobody. That's right. Like I said, we show up. <laughs> we, we show we up. We show up because God is behind us. That's right. right. Most high God, the power of the most high God is behind us. So we're not moving like no weak, you know what I'm saying, effeminate folk. I'm gonna tell y'all, man. They should have just left him alone. Mm -hmm. And they're regret. I'm telling you, that's why you see him slowly trying to correct it. Like, you know what? We need to back up off. We need to ease <laughs> up. Because now, everybody, our phones is blowing up off the hook, y'all. Right. Listen, they, they, they hitting us up. They're like, what the hell did we do? We done gave them exposure. They've yep. been trying to hide us for right. years. Yeah. They've been doing, they've been doing some, somewhat of a good job you know, from their perspective. But guess what? You can't hide what's busting out right. the seams. That's right. Oh, man. Here it is. The celebrities, everybody. They, they, man, they saying exactly what the Most High God is saying. That we're the children of Israel. They That's finding right. out. Mm -hmm. And you can't hide it no longer. We ain't in the corner no more. Give me the next one real quick. Give me the next one. This is another, um, I believe Deacon I thought was being, yeah, right there, number nine. Is that it? What is this? What is the message? What are you trying to state? It's a peaceful protest, basically. We're expressing our, um, our, um, how I put it. It's um, the New York Post. Kyrie Irving and his stance in terms of him, um, knowing who he is and the, 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 the lying, um, 
trope that's being spread about whatever you speak the truth is deemed anti-Semitic. We understand for a fact that Kyrie Irving himself understands and he understands that not only are we Semitic ourselves, but that it is, it is contradictory and hypocritical to say that someone that's not Semitic when they themselves are Semitic. And so we're out here basically giving support to these men on behalf of the speaking truth that's biblically based and biblically sound. And we're simply protesting that. That's all we're doing. What is your organization? Oh, we're Israel United in Christ. Israel United in Christ. Uh, how many, do you know how many of them or how many of you guys are here today? Um, no. A couple, couple, couple thousand. I, I, I say that, who knows? <laughs> number of us are here. A huge number of us are here. Thank you. Um, so, we're basically, like I said, it's a peaceful protest. No violence. Pause. Hey, no listen, violence. bro. That was bare listen. He, he saw me try to get to the meat yeah. potatoes. Like, how, how many, many of there are you? <laughs> I need a number. We need to know. <laughs> how many people are doing this? How many people believe it now? I need, let's get to it. Come on, man. I Just you, tell me. How many are you? Is it 139,000, man? <laughs> Is it 139,500, man? Is it 139,999 of you guys? <laughs> boy, they know what's coming, boy. Listen, they worried. Ooh, we, we need that 144, bro. That's right. Sir, we need sir. that 144. Go ahead, play the video. <laughs> this I have um, speaking the words of God, the Bible, um, um, and basically just making it clear that Kyrie Irving yes. has yes. backers, he has support, he has support, whether he believes it or not, and that the Bible supports him, we support him. If you speak in the Bible, we support you. If you're not, then we're against you. It is what it is at this point. And what have you thought about the way the Nets have handled all this? We think that he's being handled very roughly and, and, and discriminatively. It doesn't make any sense. Um, the man had, had he's seeking identity. He's seeking knowledge of self, and he's entitled to that right, as anyone else is. And the fact that he's being attacked and being bombarded with all this foolishness for sharing something that he thought would be you know, important to share in this journey for who he is, it's, not, it's, it's ridiculous to have him go through all these conditions just because he shared something that, and again, there's certain content that may, that may be found to be, uh, um, from what I've heard, um, offensive, but if he's looking, if he found some truth in it, there shouldn't be a problem. I'm sure anyone, I'm sure all of us, including yourself, myself, have watched things that may have certain offensive material in it, but we found if there's certain things that you say, okay, I agree from that, I like what I'm seeing in this part here. Some parts you may find that. Look at him, man. Um, he just wants the um, number, bro. He just yeah, wants the number. That's all he's concerned about at this point. He's a professional ball player. He has the right to watch what he wants, do what he wants. Amazon put it on there. Jeff Bezos has it on, on, on his platform. So he's not being held accountable at all. It's on his platform. It's for public, for public use, public view, and he should not be um, attacked for it. Have, have you seen the movie or read the book that he that he? I, I've there? seen some of the content, uh, some of the content. And again, when it comes to history and so forth, so history is objectionable. So you can have history where some will say that's not true, some will say it's true, some will say it's false, some will say it's false. But at the end of the day, the man was simply browsing, he found something that caught his interest, he thought he'd share it, and he's catching hell for sharing something that he felt was, he, was important to him to, in terms of his, his, his path to um, who he is, identity. And it's ridiculous. I don't think any other player has gone through this much grilling as he has. He's only made it clear, I'm sorry, I apologize countless times and they're still making him apologize. I mean how many times the man has apologized? Not only is not only is he saying that Shannon Sharp has said the same thing, many others are backing him. So at this point the man's a very important figure in the league and on in the profession and he needs to be left alone. The man already expressed his apologies and he's being attacked. It's ridiculous. So well how to support him. The the part in the documentary uh, that had anti-Semitic uh, parts where you know they're questioning the Holocaust. And how? What do you make of that? Do you, I mean, do you denounce that? What, what do you make of it? I I'm not in the position. Well, the, well, in terms of the that's the fit of the show, the content. We have to address him regarding that information. He dispensed it. He needs to be addressed regarding what he put in there in terms of that right. portion. The portion that I'm familiar with is the portion that Kyrie was referring to in terms of Africa being born in him in slave ships, which goes along with the Bible, us being the children of Israel, which is all going to the Bible. Even the people who are who are offended by the content, they acknowledge the people of, of Nigeria as Israelites. They acknowledge the Colossians as Israelites. They acknowledge the Lumbers as Israelites. These are people who were brought over here in ships. So this ancestry, if their ancestry ties to us being Jews, then there's truth, there's some truth in the documentary. In terms of the, of the Holocaust being a a hoax or or, or or made up 
that's the content that has to be brought to the, the, the greater of it. I can't speak to him on that. That's his content. But Kyrie was not adjusting that part. He was adjusting the part regarding the history of our people, the slave ships, the, the chains, the being shipped in, scattered abroad. He was focused on that part, his identity part. That's what, that's what I know about. Are you sending a message today, or are you going to be uh, outside of Mets games going forward? If, if, if this continues? <laughs> <laughs> Let me know. I need to know. I need to know. I, need to know. I, need to know. I don't care nothing about that. <laughs> Out of all the next games? <laughs> and how many of y'all are going to come? <laughs> right. He was terrified. People continue to do so. If we're told to be removed, then we'll remove ourselves. At the end of the day, we are, the Bible says, be a peace with all men. That's Romans 12. So it's how, it's how, but we're simply showing support today um, for our brother Kyrie Irving. That's all we're doing. And I'm sorry, what is your name? I'm Deacon Adnan. E-Y-T-H-E-Y-T-H-A-N. That's the only thing he wrote on it. And a full name? Um, I thought Israel. I S R A E L. Are you from Brooklyn? Um, I'm from New York, but I'm not from New York. Thank you so much. Thank you, buddy. Right. So just give me a number, buddy. Okay, okay. Please. Is it 142,394? <laughs> Come on, man. Just tell me. Give me something, man. Come you on. Know, you know you that know That thing it. is three hours long. And they just went to that one little part. And mm -hmm. they, they letting you know they don't care about none of you Negroes. They just care about they people. They, 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 they putting it out there. That thing is three hours long. That mm -hmm. one there bit in a video. A lot of these people ain't, haven't even seen it. And they, a lot of these leaders. Thank you, Father. They're not even seeing it, bro. I'm going to be honest with you. I've I seen com some comments on it. Uh -huh. And again, I'm not trying to deter or anything like that. But I see some brothers watched it. And I seen a comment, brother said, listen, if you with IUIC, if you with Israel United in Christ, it's like drinking Kool-Aid without the sugar. That's, I'm just, just going to say it. I'm just going to say it and be honest. Damn. Damn. Okay? We are not <laughs> Kool-Aid without sugar. Kool-Aid without Damn. the sugar. Gosh. Like I said, <laughs> powder, Amazon, and, powder and water. Powder. Listen, <laughs> let's see if Amazon going to let the unadulterated <laughs> truth come out. Right, mm -hmm. right. With straight Somebody Bible gonna facts die. coming Somebody out. Somebody going to die. Huh? Somebody going to die. Listen to me, bro. Like I said. <laughs> I say all praises to the Most High for them for for that video sparking up so much information. But and I would share a link to it. Yeah, man. Yeah, there's a link out. Uh huh. That don't mean I believe everything is in here. Right. Mm -hmm. But it's crazy they, they they put that on. I'm gonna come back to that. Let's listen to uh, Kyrie real quick because you can see his face lit up, man. It's like he getting a new spirit, especially after mm -hmm. this happened. Right. Go ahead. And talk with me whenever you see me in public too. Please come up and give me a hug or give me a dap. You know, don't always ask me for a picture. I prefer a conversation, you know, well over just, you know, being Kyrie Irving, the celebrity. Like, I just want y'all to know that you're not alone in this fight for the change that you want to see in this world. Mm. And all my warriors out there. All them warriors. Feel me? All my warriors out there doing the right thing, standing on the right thing, standing on the right principles. This is a truly a shout out to you. Please keep doing that. We out here. That's right. We outside, man. We outside. That's and we ain't right. going nowhere. We ain't going nowhere. <laughs> now, back to the point I was making concerning, because uh, Deacon Ithan had brought something up about, you know, historic history. Historically, it's whoever wants to, who's telling the story. And here in America, let's just deal with it in America. Right now in America, if you ask your history teacher about the founding fathers of America and how this all came to pass, mm -hmm. They're going to give you some tearjerker story yeah. about pilgrims and about the great voyage. The Mayflower. Is that, oh, yeah. Everything was beautiful. They came over here and they found this land and they was there with the natives and then mm -hmm. Thanksgiving happened, right? But you ask a Native American, you ask a Gadite, you ask a Reubenite, they're going to tell you the devil came over. Right. The devil came over long ago. Talking about sailing the ocean blue in 1492. The devil came over here murdering. They're going to tell you about a slaughter. That's right. Now, so who's, who's, who is historically accurate? Whose history is correct? Seems like the ones that dictate what history is are the ones that get to say what history is correct. Right, right now, again, critical race theory. They are now erasing things. And right. So much time is going to pass, and then this never happened. Right. We've never seen Esau try to erase things or cover things up or paint over images that were initially yeah, this right. color and make them that color. We've never seen that before. It's hypocrisy 
to try to hold these people accountable when all this stuff that they're talking about, anti-hate against this, that, and the third is happening. What about the anti-Semitic stuff that's shown to us on a daily? Right. I got a question. For those of you all that watch TV, let me see if, you, if you've seen this episode. Watch this. This is going to be the best summer ever. And it was. But Nate soon found himself put to work on a southern plantation. It was way down there. You know, where you stop seeing Howard Johnsons and you start seeing Stuckies. Anyway, it was a horrible place where they took away everybody's African names and gave them new names. What's your name? Toby with an I, with an accent over the I. Bruh. With a little line over the O, so you know it's a long vowel sound and not a short one. And sometimes I like to dot the I with a little smiley face or a heart or something. Something to brighten the reader's day. I asked you what your name was. Honey, you keep that up. It's whatever you want it to be. I'm offended, yo, what's up? Yep. I am offended. Yep. Where is the ADL? Where you at? Right. I'm offended. Where, you the at? Where is the SPLC? I'm offended. Somebody got to do something. Why wasn't this? Family Guy canceled? Bro, I need apologies. I need I need 144000 I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Dollars sent right now. No, I'm playing, I'm playing. Listen to me. Where's the outcry? Mm. Where's the uproar? How many of us found that amusing? How many of us accepted that as, oh, right. man, this is, it, this is what family, the, the creators of Family Guy believe. Everybody involved in it. And anybody that shared this video, this video is on YouTube. So the person that shared it, they, they, that's, that's what they believe. They believe in all of that. They think that we're supposed to be whipped. This is, this is appropriate. This is funny, right? This is what's supposed to be played. Where the ADL? It's hypocrisy. This is just one instance. Minister Society. Boys in the hood. Uh, uh, give me another one. To hoodlum. Hoodlum. Roots. Mm -hmm. I'm offended. All of these things that portray my people as such, Dugs. I'm offended. Mm -hmm. Colors. What happens now? Mm -hmm. Where we at? Where, where, where's the ADL? Right. We should we should just wait. Maybe maybe they they just now hearing us or they just now seeing these things and now they'll respond, right? They're the professionals, huh? They're the professionals. I heard they they supposed to, this they, is this is hate, right? Right. My people are being portrayed as murderers, right? Mm -hmm. Killers, right? No, they're not that. And this stuff is a these things. I remember Boys in the Hood. People turned up behind that movie. What about all the the, the music videos that make our people shake their behinds in the club? And now you got women getting pregnant, and they're out here murdering their the the, the children. Mm. This this is cause and effect. The woman watched uh, your boy Juvenile's video, mm -hmm. right? It was a hot girl summer for the nine nine and two thousand, right? And right. she found herself in the club. Yep. Shaking her behind, and guess what? Because of that, the cause and effect, she ended up pregnant. Yep. And you know what she did? Instead of having that baby, she wouldn't have that baby killed. This is murder. Yep. Mm -hmm. Cause and effect, because what's being portrayed and what's being put out there. Where the ADL? Yep. Paid in Call them up! Paid in full. Negroes die every day, B. It's normal. Where the ADL? Watch this. So right. some people ain't having it. Some people are, are, are to a point to where it's like, all right, now y'all just backing us in the corner. Y'all y'all care about this, which the man didn't say anything. Y'all care about this. Well, what about everything else y'all let go? Right. Come on, man. New Jack City? We can go on and on, man. Mm -hmm. We can go on and on. I approach it with a state of empathy, right? Regardless of what color, what creed, what race you are, I look at people as human beings. I think that's important. But life is always about taking a stand and holding principles. So I want to explain what I feel like my stance is as a black male in this world, okay? And conversations that I've had with my brothers and sisters in the black community. Now, for y'all that don't know, I'm sorry. This is his name is Jay Williams, right? Yes. He is a black com. He's not black. He's black, but he's a commentator. He be doing this whole sports thing like everybody yeah. else be doing, right? He I forget who he played for or what he did. Uh, he went uh, played for Duke. Yeah, he went okay. to Duke. Yeah. Well, anyways, he's speaking up, and some people said you could kind of see that he was bothered even when this stuff was coming out when he was on his show and he right. wanted to say something, but his behind was getting censored. Right. Go ahead. And I want you guys to empathize with it and hear me on it. So when I 
hear what Kyrie Irving has to go through in order to be reinstated, I'm appalled. I'm appalled. And let me give you examples of how I feel like we don't have the same energy and hold other people who have dealt with racial tropes accountable. So when Sarah Silverman does blackface or when Don Imus says nappy headed hoes mm. or when Howard Stern calls somebody the N word in the skit or when Brett Favre takes money from the state of Mississippi, we don't ask them to get sensitivity training. Wait, I'm sorry. We don't ask them I'm to- I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hold what the hell's going on? You wait just a nigger. <laughs> oh, hold oh, up, bro. There's certain things I can do. <laughs> what the hell you been in? Where you been at? You don't bring up things that I've been in. What the hell you been at? Well, God. I've, been, I've been on leave. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> you Brett been Favre. on hiding. Yes, because there were things that were said about me that were untrue. <laughs> and you guys are playing these videos of things that are untrue. And you, biggin. What a 77 you million. Biggin. Biggin. You, the biggin. The whole stuff. What's that? What is, what is 77 million? Is? Who's going to The 77 million. Huh? Yeah. Okay, let me tell you something. All right, I'll tell you guys what happened and where I've been and why things happened. <laughs> what are monies? Well, listen. My daughter, okay? She's been practicing. She loves volleyball. She's been playing all her life, okay? <laughs> His we beard need is to get in the, the wind. we need to get the advantage too, okay? Because we know that you niggers have that special muscle <laughs> in the town that allows you to jump higher. Oh man! So we had to get we had to divert some of the funds from the the Negroids in, in Mississippi, okay? We had to do it, and uh, she, uh, Latricia's doing fine. Now. She's got a scholarship, <laughs> Division One scholarship. How you gonna skip with a seventy-seven million? I'm more than a million. The millions. Well, I'm, I'm, oh I'm my telling god! You, you ain't saying nothing, man. Okay, listen. <laughs> Some put a care rat. <laughs> Something is wrong. With your officer, y'all. <laughs> Something is wrong with this brother. We need help. We need <laughs> donations. Donations. To help this brother. <laughs> what the hell, hey, bro? Hey, listen, no Deacon. Way, I, this man. Hey, man. Way, I, I'm just. I'm. I'm just as surprised as you all are. <laughs> this guy. This guy needs to be stopped. He needs to be stopped. He needs to be stopped. He needs to. He needs to say I, what a seventy-seven yeah, million. Yeah, seventy-seven million needs to come back. Needs yeah. to come back. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Officer Lahab. Can we get back to the video? Yeah, sorry. I'm sorry. Let's go, man. Go ahead, Donate five hundred thousand dollars. We don't ask them to meet with the Black National Caucus. They apologize, and then you know what? The rest of the world moves on. But what I feel like is happening here. And that's how in the black community, like we've been told that's how the process works, right? Think about that, Bert. That's how the process works. Oh, somebody does a black face. Oh, it was a misunderstanding. We got it. Okay. You know, is that person really racist? Probably not. Was it ignorant? Probably so. Okay. We understand it. We move forward. We don't like it. We would love to hold them accountable. But society and having a lot of black people in positions of power, we don't have the governability to do that. But what we feel like happens with Kyrie is even after an apology, it's not enough. We feel like there needs to be more. And a lot of people I've spoken to over the last couple of days talk about this thing, older mentors of mine talk about buck breaking. Mm. It's so we talk about tropes. This is something that we feel like in the black community that happened way back in the day where if there was a slave that was defiant, right? He got broken in front of everybody in order to show that he was not in a position of power. And that at the end of the day, he had to do what he was told to do because that's what was mandated of him. And there's a bigger situation going on. What's happening with Kyrie Irving? If the Nets don't want him to be there, just say you don't want him to be there. But we should hold everybody accountable, even owners of teams accountable mm. with things that are happening in other countries, i.e. China and Uyghurs mm. and the Muslim genocide that is occurring that we hear Ennis Cantor talk about. But we don't keep the same energy for everybody. We pick and choose what conversational points we want to make more polarizing. And I might lose my job. I might lose deal opportunities in the future for speaking out about even the platforms that continue to promote and profit a movie that is considered anti-Semitic to billions of people 
they don't have to be accountable. Who is accountable? Pause. Listen, and this, that's what is, I'm telling you. This is how you know it's a, an attack against the truth. Right. Because no one said anything. What's the dude on his name? Jeff Bezos? Jeff Bezos. Yes. Nobody said anything to Jeff Bezos. Nobody said, man, he's promoting. He believes. He's anti. Nobody said anything like that. Nothing. But because Kyrie shared a Amazon link. Right. He's deemed anti-Semitic. You got to be joking. Brett Favre, literally. Give me the next video. The next, yeah. Brett Favre, literally. I'm talking about committed a crime. He actually did something. Right. And nobody's, nobody's speaking on this like this. He, he's not going through what Kyrie's going through right now. He just shared a link. Well, tonight, a new development in the largest welfare scandal in Mississippi history. CBS News has exclusively obtained text messages and documents that connect the plan to divert millions of dollars in welfare funds to pet projects of Hall of Fame quarterback Brett Favre. CBS's Omar Villafranca has the never-before-seen evidence. This is a game changer. A new uh, concussion yeah, drug backed by NFL legend Brett Favre needed financing. So he turned to his home state of Mississippi, the poorest in the nation. The pitch was made in 2019 at Favre's home to the former head of the state's human services and Nancy New, the founder of a nonprofit that distributed welfare funds in the state. In a document obtained exclusively by CBS News, the drug company, Prevacus, asked for nearly two million from the Division of Human Services in the state of Mississippi. They struck disagreement. In exchange for funding, the drug would be made and tested in Mississippi. Former federal prosecutor Brad Pygut investigated the transactions for the state. Both federal and Mississippi law required 100% of that money to go only to the alleviation of poverty within Mississippi. Court documents show Prevacus was sent $1.5 million, with Favre's business associate later asking for the rest. Damn. We would love 784 k he wrote with a smiley face emoji in a text message obtained by CBS News. Damn. New responded, we can send 400 k today. Damn. Damn! I will need to let Brett know that we will need to pull this from what we were hoping to help with on other activities. She has since pleaded guilty for helping funnel millions in welfare money for a volleyball center at Favre's alma mater. Damn. Eric Hirschman, Brett Favre's attorney, insists his client didn't know the grants were coming from welfare funds and that Favre didn't personally receive any of the money paid to Prevacus. You're almost making him sound like a patsy, like he was set up. Nobody's a patsy except no one told him. You want the outside quarterback to look out and say, wait a minute, let me challenge the entire state? as to what they do with their own funds. This is not philanthropy. It's not a, a passive investor. He invited the director of the Mississippi Department of Human Services into his house mm. to receive the sales pitch. Favre has not been charged with any crimes. The state mm. of Mississippi is suing to try to get back the $2.1 million from the drug company and its affiliates. Last month, the company announced they had finished the first round of clinical trials in Australia. Nora, they oh still got the money right now. They uh, balling out on what? Let on me, the I, money from welfare. Well, oh, well. <laughs> well. Fix your face. Okay, listen. Okay, listen. It's it's not a crime. Okay, it's not a crime if you it actually not, is, sir. Well, listen. All right. If you don't go to jail, it's not a crime. Okay. <laughs> And there's a lot of dingoes in Australia right now that do uh, not have concussions uh, because of our information that we put out there. Did you buy them Versace shades with that two point million, two point one right. million you received, bro? No, I got this from uh, this is food stamps. I paid for this. So you the welfare and the food stamps. You using the benefits too. You using the benefits. Uh, 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 listen, yes. bro. Uh, what they, call it, what they call it? What they call it? EBT snap I'm, benefits. I'm, I'm I'm benefits. Benefits. Bought some glasses. Said, 50, cent, 50 cent on a dollar. If 50 cent on a dollar, I can get this. Make hey, it happen. Hey, listen <laughs> to me. What you have to, what we fail to realize is they're putting this information in our face and nothing is happening to this man. He still has the money right now. There's nobody that's protesting. Nobody's <laughs> in the streets. 
Nobody's saying, oh, man, what did, what, we need to take this from him and take that from him. He invited the person from the department of, what is it, welfare? Yep. Mm -hmm. Like, And now he tried, like, he didn't know where the money was coming from. You know this person is over welfare funds, and you're going to simply pretend now that y'all sitting down just randomly having a, 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 a date. They all in it together, D. Right. They all in that, bed together. Kyrie said it. I got to bring it back up. He said, what crime did I commit? Right. And they right, came right. after him. Brad Favre he is guilty. He committed a crime. Guilty. Guilty. He's guilty. The lady that charged. was texting him pleaded guilty. <laughs> she pleaded guilty. Both of them. The man, and, uh, it was two of them. The woman, Nancy New, and whoever that other guy that they showed, both of them pleaded guilty. Amazing. Hey, but yet he has no charge. He's, he's, a he's a national treasure. That's why. Hey. <laughs> he's a national treasure. Y'all notice, y'all notice, he didn't have to speak for himself. They nope. spoke for him. Mm -hmm. He didn't say nothing. Mm -hmm. they he had, he nothing. had to they, come. He ain't on no press conference. Anything. His PR said, just be quiet. Yeah. This is going to blow over. Mm -hmm. Real quick, I got a script real quick. Give me Psalms 50. It says the exact same thing that's going on between Brett Favre versus Kyrie, our brother. Uh, read from verse 18. Read down to 20 for me. You're going to learn today. The book of Psalm, chapter 50 and verse 18. Watch this. When thou sawest a thief. Brett Favre is a thief. Mm -hmm. All right. Brett Favre is a thief. Mm -hmm. All right. When thou sawest a thief. Come on. Then thou contendest with him. Right. They consented with him. It's okay, Jesus. Brett. What we're going to do. Mm -hmm. Hey, we're just going to make sure you look good in the public. This is going to blow over over time. You just got to be patient with us. Go ahead. And has been partaker with adulterers. Uh-huh. Thou givest thy mouth to evil. That's what they do. Hey, he didn't know. He didn't know. Right, he, right. he was set up. Mm -hmm. He didn't know what was going on. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And thy tongue frameth deceit. And thy tongue frameth deceit because he had that man in his house. Right. Right. This They were in this thing together. Watch this. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother. So they, they ignore that evil, but they want to speak against the brother, which is who? The Israelites. They want to speak against Kyrie mm -hmm. and, and uh, accuse him. Instead of calling out the wickedness and the deceit and the, the thievery of Brett Favre. Finish that off. Thou slanderest thine own mother's son. You know, they, they are wicked. Uh, they are wicked twin. Esau's our wicked, Jacob's right, wicked right. twin. So that's, that's what we're seeing play out in the media today. Right. We see the devil on earth. Y'all yep. know who he is. The so-called right. white man. All right. They're in it together. But what are they doing? They're pointing the finger at Kyrie who has committed no crime. Right. No crime. Where is the list of demands right. against right. Brett Favre? Mm. Where's the list of demands from the Mississippi Department of Health or Welfare Services? Any department. Where is the list of demands? It's not there. Mm. Matter of fact, give me that, that next pick. Where are all the uh, endorsements Endorsement, yeah. that right. he has? Where right. are they at? Where are they being? Where, are he, is he still being endorsed? Does he still have these deals? Give me that picture real Levi. quick. Levi. Nike suspends relationship <laughs> with Kyrie Irving. <laughs> Preparation H. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, y'all saw me throwing it for you, bro. Oh, oh, man. Oh, man. Ditch your cream. Where's the ditch your cream commercial at? <laughs> oh, Go ahead, man. bro. Ben Gay ain't dropped him yet. <laughs> no, oh, man. Go ahead, bro. <laughs> Give me Brett, Brett Favre's net, uh, net worth. <laughs> uh, Brett Favre's net worth updated 2022. Uh-huh. Uh, source of name is Brett Lorenzo Favre. Source of income, NFL endorsements business. Mm. Salary, $20 million. This man still is a, is a millionaire to this day. Endorsements? Endorsements, Nike. Nike. Snapper. Snapper. Remington. Uh-huh. Sears. Prilosec. Prilosec. Sensodyne. Uh-huh. MasterCard. Go ahead. Wrangler. Bengay. Go ahead. Bergstrom. <laughs> Wrangler. Bergstrom. <laughs> you said... <laughs> <laughs> was talking about Levi G. Levi G. Lord help us. Lord help us. We just yell out Levi. 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 <laughs> what are you talking about? The tribe. Right, the tribe. Is, <laughs> right now, Deacon Lobbins like, what the hell is wrong with this? <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Wrangler. Bergstrom. Uh -huh. Adam, Bergstrom Automotive in Hyundai. Honda. The, all these Man. endorsements. Hey, Deacon, it's actually one on there. He's like big with Cooper Fit. I don't know if everybody's ever heard of Cooper Fit. I know so. what you're talking about. Cooper Fit is like a sports, oh, so you know like a sports training. Uh, like they do sleeves and knee braces. Uh -huh. They actually went on record backing him 
basically saying we still support Brett Favre. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's been we've been with him for nine years, and he's been nothing but honorable, and we believe he's innocent. Wow, because they don't give a damn. They don't give a damn about black, black people. people. Mm-hmm. Hey, I want to say something about Nike. They they what well, they suspended Kyrie right, mm-hmm. and now they're dropping him from Nike. They yeah, dropped they him dropped him because they're talking about he goes against their morals. Wow. Once again, yeah. what crime did, did Kyrie commit? commit? <laughs> wow, <laughs> bro, let's be let's be real. Oh. Everything, and I mean everything. Ye said about the ish influence, yeah. the ish control, right. is true. Mm-hmm. Don't you dare speak about it. We played that video last week. If you want to know who is oppressing you, if you want to know who it is that is against you the most, find out who you're not allowed to speak about. Right. Message. Find out, and you'll, you'll see that. All right, so we've seen... Uh, Kyrie lose his stuff, right? Right. Mm-hmm. We've seen all of these these sports commentators literally come at his throat. We watched Shaq. Y'all remember Shaq was going in, calling him an idiot, bro. Idiot. idiot. Charles idiot. Barkley going in, idiot. talking mad mess about Kyrie Irving because Kyrie wanted to stand up for his belief. How the hell are we not in a religious discrimination lawsuit at this point. Right. right. How the hell is this not on? Uh, if this this should be pushed, if any, where are the lawyers at? Mm-hmm. Right, right. This, this should be an easy case. So, so the Civil Rights Act of 1964 don't apply to, to black folks. the window don't mm-hmm. apply to you. Where's the ADL? Right. Like right. The man said over and over and over, how can I be anti-Semitic? He never said I'm anti-Semitic. Right. He never said anything wrong. Why is this man being castrated the way that he is because the real issue is that he is denoted he is showing you and telling you he's an israelite so just adl just say that's the problem you have you don't want your you don't want public figures like nba players these music these artists you don't want these public figures to say they're israelites why don't you just come out and say it just say it just don't say that you can say anything else they let your boy, what's his name, Ron Artest? Mm-hmm. They let him change his name to Meta World, World Peace. Peace. No one said anything. Mm-hmm. That don't even say, what, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Meta World Peace. You didn't care. You got people right now. We watch people. Bruce Jenner change his <laughs> sex. He went from a man to a woman. Hmm. No one cares. You could become a, a man, could become a woman in this country. But don't let a black man say his true nationality. Mm. Oh, no. And then what do they do? They send their dogs out against right. these mm-hmm. celebrities to make, yep. to make an example against anybody who says anything contrary to what they want you to say. Let's take a quick trip down memory lane. Here go your boy, Stephen, <laughs> Stephen A. Smith. Bring it out. Check, check your man's out. term contract again. He cannot be trusted. I'm going to be calm when I say this, Key. <clears throat> we are witnessing. Take it back a little bit. <laughs> listen to me. Yeah, listen turn me. it up in here. Yeah, listen to me. My man, you can you know whenever a, a Negro about the coon boy, because mm-hmm. right. when he's showing off a master, he get that so real serious look at his. Now let me tell you something. Mm-hmm. You raggedy, you, raggedy, raggedy, you look right you at it. Dog, oh. you dirty dog. You. <laughs> <I did. laughs> let me tell you about these black folk. Man, listen, he doing it for massa, bro. Mm-hmm. Call him Watch Fiddler. Fiddler. <laughs> Go ahead. Give him a long-term contract. <laughs> be trusted. I'm going to be calm when I say this, Key. <laughs> <laughs> Turn it up. One of the most delusional athletes in American history. He's, he's lost. Do you think that Kyrie is worth all of this drama? No, he's not. He's not worth it at all. A matter of fact, um, let me say this straight up and down. Here he go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, D. Did they light this? Don't he look up? white? Did they, 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 they look white, bro? They hit him with the, with the <laughs> go back, dude. Man, turn to me so something. I'm telling you, bro. Man, listen, this what dude the hell? right here, when he put on them damn tap shoes, boy. <laughs> exactly. And that's yeah, because yeah, yeah, exactly. that's because Massa sent him out. He sent damn. the dogs. He sent Barkley. They sent Shannon Sharp. They sent him. Many others. Go ahead. One of the most delusional athletes in American history. He's he's lost. Do you think that Kyrie is worth all of this he drama? He looked white right there. No, he's not. He's not worth it at all. A matter of fact, um, let me say this straight up and down. I think Kyrie Irving should retire. I think he should announce his retirement today. He's saying the man should quit. Damn. That's like 
literally exactly. take everything from him, announce your retirement, you lose everything because of what? Because you said you weren't, you weren't, uh, there was no way you could be anti Semitic because you know who you are. Right. That's what you're saying? Mm. So we see it over a process of time now, which our people, they slow when it comes to, to coming together. We still lack right. that, that cultural integrity that the Bible gives us. But slowly but surely, people are starting to see, wait a minute, this ain't right. They hear the Israelites out here on these street corners. Mm -hmm. They see, brother, we post, listen, you see the ads going out, which we're going to get to that in a second. You see the ads going out, folks are like, wait a minute, this is buck breaking. Right. They, they are making an example of this man. This man didn't even say nothing. Mm -hmm. So now the ish folks are seeing, oh, snap, wait a minute, we can't have them all turn against us. Right. Okay, let's try to fix this. Mm -hmm. So what do they do? They use them same dogs that they sent out. They sent them out with a different story now, with a different tune. Watch. The commissioner of the National Football League has come out and said that Kyrie Irving is someone he has known personally for a decade and that he can vouch for the fact that Kyrie Irving is not anti-Semitic. That should be enough. This be. list that's been put out there by the Brooklyn Nets, although I'm hearing it's not what has been reported to some degree. That's what the Nets are trying to say, just so y'all know. Now, I don't want to hear something about sensitivity training and all of this other stuff. Because when you put those as conditions to him being allowed back into the league, you are emasculating this man. Are you serious? When you emasculate a black man, Hold on, I thought I'm going to say You just said he's supposed to retire. He said, I'm going to say Can't trust brothers like that. Bro, yeah. you can't. This double dude, not at all. double tongue. Give me real quick. Give me that. Yes. Mm. Give me uh, Ciroc 2813. We coming back here. The man said he should retire. Mm -hmm. He said you can't trust him. Mm. Y'all remember? We yeah. just yeah. watched him just say that. I remember. Now this is a whole new tune. Like yeah. he, he didn't. What happened? He don't. He remember. got. He went in there and got re restructured. Mm -hmm. Got different orders. Go fix that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Different orders. Read that. <laughs> the book of Sirach, chapter twenty-eight and verse thirteen. Come on. Curse the whisperer and the and the double tongue. Curse the whisperer and the double tongue. Come on. For such have destroyed many that were at peace. They use these type the, the whisperer, the the double tongue man. These are the ones that destroy. They send them out to what? Create all this confusion. Mm -hmm. See, now somebody's supposed to be like, oh, man, look at Steve. Okay, Stephen A, man, come in the back for him, da 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 Because he's seen other folks. Y'all seen Floyd Mayweather came out. Yeah. See, it's hard to touch these folks that got all that money. Yeah, It's hard, especially when their money's solid. Right. And ain't necessarily locked up in endorsement deals and things that's supposed to happen. No, he got mm -hmm. it in the bank. He's sitting on it. It's hard to really sway him and say what he gonna, tell him what he's going to say. Mm -hmm. So now you start seeing, you know what? This isn't going the direction that we wanted. Let's fix this. So let's let's try to sway the crowd another way. So what do they do? They send out your Stephen A. Smiths. They send out the Shannon Sharps. But let's finish this, and then I want the next one. Him being allowed back into the league, you are emasculating this man. He emasculated you him. Are right. Emasculating black man. He said he lost his mind. To say something about that. It is uncalled for. It is unnecessary. Black folks, we don't get enough credit for this. We forgive people all the time. How many things have been accorded against us? How many things have been spoken us. about mm -hmm. us in that right. How many times throughout history have we been demonized and marginalized? Where was the synergy? Right. What the hell? We've shown forgiveness. We've shown compassion. And you're talking to somebody, let's just call it what it is. We'll get along with Kyrie or his daddy. They both know why. But I will tell you this, I don't give a damn whether I don't get along with them or not. I don't give a damn whether or not we ever speak to each other again in life or not. I will defend him on this in terms of what? What? compassion. And now you're going to pause. The man ordered for his retirement. He's lost his mind. He wanted see, him to quit. See, this is the type of coconuts you talk. This is what I was saying. Last coconuts. Year. That's what I was saying. Boy, ain't right. no way, boy. You know what you just say, coconuts? You said yeah. coconuts. You said this type of coconuts. Coconuts. You, about. you understand coconuts? Yeah, no way. This is the type Fix of your face. Huh? face. <laughs> coconuts. Coconut. You heard it first. I'll fix your face. <laughs> <laughs> Steven's a coconut. He's a coconut. <laughs> fix your Go ahead. Face. <laughs> now we ever speak to each other again in life or not, I will defend him on this in terms of requiring compassion. 
and the avoidance of being emasculated and minimized. We got riots that took place in the streets a couple of years ago. And I told everybody back then, I said, when George Floyd had that knee on his neck, what people didn't get outside of the black community is that black folks were going off because we were saying from a figurative perspective, from a metaphorical perspective, we always feel like we got a knee on our neck. And that's where the frustration and the foment of vitriol and hostility and dare I say violence came shining through. And so here we are again. Now this doesn't have anything to do with that in a literal perspective, but this is somebody or a bunch of people out there trying to put their knee and keep their knee on Kyrie's neck. Where was bunch this? of people? Kyrie does not deserve that. Where was this energy a week ago? He said a bunch of people a bunch trying of to put people. their knee on Kyrie. Negro. Uh, you was one of them. What? He, where, who was this man? Where he come from? Do you see how he changed his tune? Yeah. This is this this is worse than WWF. Mm -hmm. This stuff be scripted, bro. Mm -hmm. And Ye was telling y'all about the whole yeah. time. Yeah. He was saying y'all ain't gonna be able to send so and so. You ain't gonna be able to send such and such. Meaning what? Y'all ain't gonna be able to do nothing now because I got my money. Listen, what if Ye this whole time was telling us? Remember in the beginning of that song? He says, la, da, 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 wait, wait till I get, get my money, money right. right. He, maybe he planned this from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Maybe he was waiting till he got his bread. Ha <laughs> To now I'm about to show my horse. Ha <laughs> 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 Listen, now he's telling y'all what's going on. He's telling you these folks that's controlling these people. And yeah, he's like, man, listen, y'all not going to control me. Y'all ain't going to control me. You ain't going to be able to do this no more. Matter of fact, let's play the video. They can't control you. They can't. They, they, they try to suppress you, but that's how they try to categorize They you. can't control me. You get what I'm saying? They can control Shaq. Ooh. They can uh -oh. control Charles Barkley. Uh -oh. They can control LeBron James. Uh oh they can control Jay-Z and Beyonce. Ooh. Now, wait, wait, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. I'm telling you he's paying attention. Yes. That lets you know he's watching. Yep. He's watching what's going on right now. Yep. He's spoken to everybody has something to say about uh, Kyrie. Right? Yeah. And some of them might even say something about him as well. Mm -hmm. But notice he goes down the list of everybody that was literally very boisterous. And, boy, they was a good lap dog for Master, right? Mm. Yep. He said they can't control me, though. Go ahead. They can't control you. They can't. They, they, they try to suppress you, but that's how they try to categorize They you. can't control me. You get what I'm saying? They can control Shaq. They can control Charles Barkley. They can control LeBron James. They can control Jay-Z and Beyonce. But not you, man. But they can't control me. Not you see, you. it ain't no name I won't name. Yeah, it's up. Listen, when he says it's up, he's like, hey. It is what it is. You see those? He keeps saying that. It's up. So any, he's like, anybody can get it. Yep. Now, on this next portion, mm -hmm. I need y'all to pay attention to what he says. Because he's not bluffing. He, when he says it's up, he ain't just making like, oh, man. It, he's really putting himself out there. Go ahead. No, you. You know what I'm saying? And just for Minister Farrakhan, I love you. But the way you read that, I took that as a slight... You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't take no disrespect from nobody. So let's get on the phone. And let's talk that out. I don't care who you are. I ain't taking no slice from nobody. Right? I ain't taking no slice from nobody. It's God. That's the only person that I serve. My mama ain't here. My mama was sacrificed. Me too. You understand? Yeah. I'm Christian Michael too. Jordan. What about him? His daddy. Right? Ooh. Bill Cosby. His son. Damn. Right? Dr. Dre, his son. You know, out in Hollywood, a lot of people come up missing. Pause. Feels like Take it back. They're not listening, y'all. Listen. Mm -hmm. listen to me, y'all. The man is telling y'all what's yeah. going on. You gonna learn today. He said my mama was sacrificed. Now, again, there's been much talk, and everybody like, man, that's crazy. Da -da -da -da. But you see, he is telling you Something's going on. He ain't better mm. I. Something's going on. He's like, I don't gotta listen. It's up. He's like, it is what it is, whatever. When you hear somebody say that, it's whatever, I mean they don't care anymore. Do what you gonna do. What a body language. That's where Ye is at right now. Yeah. 
Go the, ahead. By the language. Person that I serve. My mom ain't here. My mama was sacrificed. Me too. You understand? Yeah. I'm appreciate Michael you. Jordan. What about him? Jordan. His daddy, right? Bill Cosby, his son, right? Dr. Dre, his son. You're out in Hollywood, a lot of people come up missing. Feels like it might be a lot of that in order to control, traumatize. They want to monetize and traumatize. Mm. And God loved me. You understand? They, they hit me. Gap, Adidas, all that away. Still, Forbes, who hate me, right? Had to write net worth 400 million. Jesus is king. God loved me. That's more important than thinking of life. That's the thing. You know what I'm saying? It's, and this truth is going to be heard. Y'all can't send none of y'all meat meals, y'all puppies, y'all little boozy, none of these names. Mm. None of these people Ooh. that have to listen to y'all because they're dealing with, they have legal, I never killed nobody, right? I'm the pussy that never killed nobody, right? Ooh. But that means I can say whatever I want Ooh. and Damn. not go to jail. They ain't got nothing. They can't. They can't I ain't. I ain't did nothing. So they can't. Here it is. You got folks that got stuff on them that's out here free, but they gotta play by the rules. Mm -hmm. And he's letting you know what's going on. So give me that next one. Like I said, now you see, folks are starting to change up a little tune. Mm -hmm. a little tune is different now. Read it. This this was LeBron posting. Now we played last week how he was acting. Yeah. Go ahead. Tweet by LeBron. I told you guys that I don't believe in sharing hurtful information, and I'll continue to be that way, but Kyrie apologized, and he should be able to play. Mm. That's what I think. It's that simple. Help him learn, but he should be playing. What, what he's asked to do to get back on. Now, read, read the, the follow-up down there. To, to get back on the floor. What he's asked to do to get back on the floor, I think, is excessive IMO. He's, uh -huh. he's not the person that's being portrayed of him. Anyways, back to my rehab session. He's not, being, he's not the person that's being portrayed of him, meaning what? He's saying he's not anti-Semitic. He's saying that. Well, why didn't you say that in the first right, place? Right, right, right. Why didn't you come to his defense in the first place? What, what, all, what changed? <laughs> now watch this. Give me uh, the Shaq one. Mm. We way over our time tonight, bro. Let's, come on. <laughs> we got we to gotta hurry up. Come on. Shaquille O'Neal's theater shows Kyrie Irving's anti-Semitic movie. Fans berate Shaq over hypocritical takes on Nets guard. The point is, we ain't got to go through the article. Shaq called the man an idiot. Mm -hmm. But the movie aired at your theater. Mm. Your theater. Damn. How, Sway? <laughs> you called the man an idiot. Oh, he, sh he shared a link. You played the movie, the whole movie, and gave people popcorn and drinks. And you got paid for it. Had a Man, nice money. comfy seat to sit in and watch it. Popcorn and drinks. Watch this. Now, <laughs> here's another example of the dogs. Again, these are your people that you consider your leaders. Like I said, this is who, who they make our leaders. Go ahead. You see Kyrie Irving kind of, you know, um, being reprimanded. Uh, People are calling it a lashing. What are your thoughts on this? It's kind of an ongoing I mean, I, conversation. I think that we need to really be careful that those of us that have fought racism in the black community, that we cannot in any way, even inadvertently, uh, uh, normalize being bigots against others. You see this? And I think that, mm. uh, you know, I've not uh, said anything other than we've got to be consistent. And if people say things wrong, they need to be held to the same account that we hold when people say things Pause. wrong. What y'all don't know is that this man has had direct access to the Israelites. Long time ago, he shared the building way back, what was it, One West? Mm. I believe it was One West. It might have been a different building. I wasn't there, so I'm just speaking off of what I was told. But he's had direct access to the Israelites. So he knows exactly whenever Kyrie or and Ye say, I can't be anti-Semitic if I know where I come from. He knows exactly what they mean. So what is, they, what is he saying that's wrong? Once again, they send them dogs out. They send the people out on the payroll. Ye said, you ain't going to be able to send Jay-Z. You ain't going to be able to see, send Beyonce. Not Lil Boosie. You should have said Al Sharpton. Al ain't going to show up. Have you noticed there's always been somebody sent right. to 
lully everybody back mm-hmm. to sleep whenever mm-hmm. social injustice social injustices happen. Mm-hmm. They said Al, they said Jesse, they yeah. said all that them Al public Jesse. figures. The ones that's what? That's already paid for. Go do your job. Mm-hmm. Hey. Hold on, give me the we gotta go. We gotta hurry up. Okay. Give me the next one. Here's another example. Man, this is your boy, y'all. What's up? Oh, here's your boy. Oh yeah, we going to the no yeah. Uh huh. So this is some of y'all's favorite rapper to this day. Damn, that's y'all's generation. Even in Israel, huh? Even in Israel, right he, now. He looked like he about to say some. Go ahead. So stupid. <laughs> Age of twelve years old, I shot myself. I was in the house. Police knocked on the door. I was right there. They knocked the door down. Everybody jumped over my body to go get the guns and drugs and whatever they could find. It took one guy to stop right there and, and cuss everybody that hopped over me. I was like, "What the fuck are y'all doing?" They said, "Oh no, no, no. We was going to see if it. What the fuck are y'all doing?" We called the ambulance, a fucking ambulance. Do you not see this kid on the floor with this hole in his chest? He said, you, you drive, pick me up, brought me to the hospital. He didn't drop me off at the ambulance and say, you take him. He brought me to the hospital room and made two and stood there and waited till the doctor said he's gonna, he's gonna make it. He said, don't worry, my name's Uncle Bob. He was white as snow. The motherfuckers that hopped over me was blacker than me. Was he a cop? Yeah, he was a cop. My life was saved by a white man. I don't know what racism is. You see that? I don't know what racism is. Hold on, hold on. This is what this this is what I'm 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 really looking at. You got to see the bigger the bigger picture to things. Maybe Satan said, "Oh, this one's chosen." Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna use this one. He's gonna he's gonna play a big part in the destruction of black people. Mm-hmm. He's gonna play a huge part. Oh yeah, they gonna all want to be like him. They gonna start tattooing their faces up. Mm-hmm. They gonna they gonna be repeating the stuff that he yeah. says. No, Bob, Uncle Bob, go save that one. Yeah, he gonna get he gonna get everybody to you know what I'm saying to go this direction instead of going towards God. Go and get that that Negro up, Uncle Bob. And that's what we see. Right. He's been a very instrumental in the destruction Facts. of our people and yeah. has benefited off of what? Our destruction. I agree. He has. But, but he got our people. Listen, our people out here sipping lean yeah. right now yeah. think it's cool. Mm-hmm. Two cups. Two cups. That's why you do it now. Mm-hmm. See, Big. Uh, what was his name? Big Mo. Remember Big Mo back in the day? Yes, sir. Listen, oh, no, he wasn't as influential enough. No, we got to get somebody that's going to get everybody mm-hmm. doing it. And they take the token Negro. Hey, what is he doing? Yeah, man, I don't know. I don't see no racism. I don't see none of that. You say he never. Never. That. I don't know what that's talking about. There's no way there's racism going on right now. They take the token Negro for that purpose. He's lying. They got, he has a song called Georgia. He has a song called Georgia. That's <laughs> wrong with him. Oh, shit. <laughs> You ain't the reader. <laughs> that was the reader, y'all. Oh, man. That was the reader. <laughs> Go ahead. I don't want to get too comfortable. Brothers can't afford to get too comfortable. You know? Because that's when you become the porn. That's when they use your ass. Anytime white people want to smooth some shit over, they go get that rich nigga and put you on TV to represent the people, you know? You have you asking your questions like, Damon. Now that you made this $13 million, and, and we're not counting. <laughs> now that you made all this money, let me ask you this. Let me just throw this out at you. You respond any way you want. <laughs> no, you can't. Is there racism in America? Mm. You be sitting there thinking about that paycheck, talking about, no, sir. Hey. If in the is, I ain't seen none. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what your boy just did, y'all. Was up? Yeah. Hey, you ain't no. I ain't never. Don't know nothing about no racism. I was saved by a white man. You, where you been at, bro? 
And that's another thing. You disassociate yourself from your people. Are you not seeing how your people are disproportionately treated in this country? Where have you been, brother? Mm-hmm. No, it's his job to put out that notion, to put that thought out there to where now other people's like, man, I ain't on that, man. We ain't worried about that, man. It's about me. That's why gangbanging is still prevalent. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. It's 2022, and you got black men, grown black men, that still call themselves, yeah, I'm, I'm such and such from 60s. Yep. Facts. Yep. I'm, I'm such and such from, from the honey blood. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. What's wrong with you? Oh, I'm a vice lord. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a GD. Bro, you 40 years old. Stop it. What happened to us? It's continuously being perpetuated because that's the only thing they allow us to perpetuate. Right. They don't want to put, put on our UIC TV. Put us on. Allow us to change the minds of our people with this Bible. They don't We're, want that. Why? Because your us being built up is their destruction. Right. right. Us coming back to our nationality means the destruction of this evil world that we live in now. Period. Indeed. Can I say something real quick? Go ahead. Like you say in was it Sirach 13, it talks about the uh, the rich man. When he's speaking, everybody holds their tongue. Mm-hmm. And they understand that. That's why they, like you said, they got the Stephen A. Smiths, they got the LeBron James out there. Because guess what? Once everybody started researching what Kyrie posted, mm-hmm. that began the awakening of our people, us yep. building it was the a decayed trigger. state. Real quick, I'll make it quick, Ezra 4 and verse 4. Real quick, because Deacon says something about every time when we try to build, here they come. Mm-hmm. Putting these token blacks up there to distract us and take our mind away from restoring the decay state of our people. Real quick, read verse 4 for me. The book of Ezra, chapter 4 and verse 4. Come on. Then the people of the land weakened the hands of the people of Judah. You see that? That's what they want to do. They want to weaken our hands to stop what? The building. Read. And troubled them in building. Watch this. And hired counselors against them. And did what? And hired counselors against them. Like you said, the Jay-Z's, the Beyonce's, the LeBron's, the Bootsies, all of them, the Diddy's. They got something on them. So they bring them to the forefront so they can do what? They all speak the same thing. Just like certain news channels. You turn on this news channel. You turn on that new channel. They all talking about the same thing. Finish that out. To frustrate their purpose. To do what? To frustrate their purpose. To add affliction to our bonds. To make our job harder. All right? That's what they do. I'm sorry, D. Go ahead. No, no. You good. And that's, ex- again, they're trying to stop the prophecy from happening. Mm-hmm. We sit back and we watch all these movies where that is the exact plot. To keep the prophecy from taking place. And what ends up happening? In these movies, oh, they're able to do it. They're trying to talk it up to where they can, they're can. going to be able to stop God. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. And you're not going to use your clowns to influence us. We're done with that. We, we, they, we realize these public figures that you've put out, they are not our leaders. Right. The real leaders is in purple and gold. That's right. That's right. right. Your right. Face. They out here in the streets, in the communities. They out here getting dirty. They out here in the mud with our people. Right. Go ahead. Jewish community. But he and the Brooklyn Nets are going to donate $500,000 to anti-hate organizations. Kyrie said in a joint statement with the Nets and the Anti-Defamation League, for my family and I, we meant no harm to any one group, race, or religion of people. Shannon, what's your reaction? Nothing. Because it's bull job. This is what Kyrie said when part, in part of his statement. I'm aware of the negative impact of my post, the Jewish community, and I take full responsibility. Mm-hmm. I do not believe everything said in the documentary was true or reflect my morals and principles. I'm a human being learning from all walks of life, and I intend to do so with an open mind and a willingness to listen. Mm-hmm. The, what, there are several things that we can call Kyrie Irving and we can say about Kyrie Irving. Open-mindedness is not one of those things. No. Hold on, Skip. Really? Where's I'm Damn. sorry? I thought all apologies, something has to say, I'm sorry. Yep. I'm sorry <clears throat> What the, the, post, my, the, the negative attention my post brought on a said community. Hold on. You Y'all remember this, agent? how he was yeah. moving, right? Yeah. Like I said, this is just one small example. Give me the next vid because we're trying to hurry up. Guys, now they're trying to Check rob, him out. I believe they're trying to rob the man of his dignity. They're trying to make him <laughs> grovel to come and get his job back. Right. And I don't agree with that. Mm. A man said he was sorry. Hey, He's I was wrong. Yeah, cold. I would have liked to see him. Straight cones. Bruh, pause. He said it from the beginning. But see, the sorry that they wanted was, um, I I condemn the movie. 
Yep. And I don't believe anything that is said. He said from Jump Street, no, I didn't. I don't believe everything that's in the movie. And I'm not. Uh, there's no way you could put that. We say that title on me because it doesn't fit me. He never changed his tune. Mm-hmm. But why Shannon change? Mm-hmm. The orders changed. That's right, why right. Shannon changed. The instructions changed. And you notice how his nose looked like a flex bicep. <laughs> oh, God. That is very strange. Oh, shit. Wait a minute, Damn. please. Damn. Wait, a minute. Wait, a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. Very strange. You see how we're here. You see how we're here. No, it's strange. <laughs> Come on, bro. Hit the play button. <laughs> Dang. With that, I would like to say I'm sincerely sorry. Can't see it. The fact of the matter is, is that right now you're engaging in emasculation. Based on the reports about how the Nets have a checklist of things that they need Kyrie Irving to do. All right, drop that. Drop that. You see, listen, bro. They all changed their tune because they got right. different instructions. Get go go to the last video, please. Give me Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon. I'm gonna tell y'all something. Even after the destruction, right? They still want to use this man as a tool to influence our people and take us into a place where God ain't trying to take us. Right. But you can still see the brother trying. Like I said, he, he, I don't believe he ever stopped believing. It's just that that, that, that influence was too strong mm-hmm. for him to lose all that. Go ahead. I can wholeheartedly say I know Kyrie Irving is not anti-Semitic. When given the chance to say, are you anti-Semitic or not, he didn't say, no, I'm not anti-Semitic. At the press conference, Tell us about that movie, why he did, he said, stop dehumanizing me. And the movie is saying, white Jews invented the Holocaust, and six million Jews did get killed. Okay, I, I know that isn't right. Right. There's a gigantic historical record. Jewish people know when you dehumanize us this way, we know what's around the corner. So in that same statement as those are the tropes that dehumanize Jewish people, the same butt breaking. What's that? I don't really know what that means. To be perfectly honest. The slave masters would bring the buck, the one that gets out of line, so all the other slaves would see. Lash after lash showed them the power to set an example. This is what you must do to fall in line. So when we see the six things that Kyrie must do to get his job back, right. that's dehumanizing. So, look at this, y'all. I'm telling you, they change things up, and you see the man, like I said, he still has some type of dignity. He still wants to be there and, you know what I'm saying, be that support system. But you want to tell me you you don't know what buck breaking is? You don't know what you're doing for the world? Lying. Lying. He's he's damn lying. But let me tell y'all something. It ain't going to change the effect. Mm -hmm. Christ is coming. That's right. There's nothing. This is just one instance. Well, no, we got two. We got Ye and Kyrie. Mm-hmm. Oh, but there's much more to come. Right. We're going to keep pressing forward. Hey, before I close out, I do want to give a shout out to our media team, the advertisement squad, bro. Right. I got to give a shout out to y'all. But listen, I need y'all to post this image because everybody don't show everybody or show our squad disrespect. Y'all see this right here? Mm-hmm. Boyce Watkins uh, posted this, right? This is a image. It says, Negroes better apologize. And then you see at Hassan. So this is an at. He's trying to advertise for everybody. To, this image is supposed to pick up speed and everybody at Hassan. Come check, come check out my content, right? Give me the next video or next picture. Oh, this is where it came from. Oh. You see that Bam. in the corner. I-U-I-C-T-V. Boom. Israel Unite dot org. That's ours. Right. Don't, don't, come on, man. Y'all got to be creative and do your own thing. Give me the next image. Same thing right here. Like I said, you see the, the, the imagery there? All three intervie- interviewed Kanye, only the, uh, only the super, super thug, thug. apologized. What? That, this, this ad is picked up steam. Where'd it come from? Mm-hmm. Give me the next I- image. This was our ad. Oh. Go back. But it was purposely cropped. Mm-hmm. Come on, man. Put the camera on me. Listen to me. And I'm talking to everybody. You, ha- If you're going to use the images, leave them alone. Right. Otherwise, create your own. Right. But it shows a direct hatred of us when you you like the image, but you don't want to re- promote or show where it, come, where it came from. That within itself is hateful. Right. That's Let's right. not move like that, all right? Hey, appreciate y'all for tuning in. 
Hey, man, it's always a pleasure. Y'all, what's up? in the building. We got Captain Mattathias came through. That's right. You are, hey, this is your first one, bro. It's my first one. We dude. might have to start the wall signing, man, because you know we don't ever. You're right, we don't. Yeah, he might right. be the first you one. Might be man. the first one. Oh, right. praise! You know we ain't trying to be like patient saints or nothing, right. you know, <laughs> we innovators over here. But we are gonna have to get something going, man. Yeah, hey, man. make sure y'all tune in. Deacon ASAP is up next Friday night raw, y'all. It ain't over with. It's TGIF, man. That's Thank right. God. Y'all stay tuned. That's Hello. right.